different spots that we're, we're kind of wondering about. Um, one is the Lions Club Park um, that has a great big open area in the back half just beyond the, the playground set and I know we could fit that with our stuff pretty easily. Um, I do have a, an aerial map here. Fortunately it's in black and white. Um, obviously my drawing is not quite the scale because you can notice my tents are about the size of a house. <laughs> um, we understand that the, you guys are wanting to put in soccer fields this year, or hopefully. Um, I, my drawing there, I kind of thought park our rendezvous vehicles there, so they're out of the way. Um, I did notice that we could go on the opposite side of the park and park down there to get them out of the way. And then any visitors would be using the, the standard parking lot as parking for the event. Is everybody familiar with what we've been doing in Manor, though, for the last 15 years? I am myself, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm myself. Okay. Um, I just didn't know if we do okay. have roughly about 12,000. 1,200 kids show up <laughs> the two Inner, school days we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we're always looking to add more schools to that if, if the area allows it. And we have um, we have everything from KM, Triton, our farthest out I believe is Dover, Iota comes. Um, we've had interest from Northfield coming. We have Pine Island that comes. We have Byron that comes. And they come to ours versus taking that extra weekend and driving all the way to Albert Lee mm -hmm. because we're a lot we're a lot closer we're actually as far as like our prices for the schools is a lot cheaper and it's more structured they know like what they're getting when they come in they mm -hmm. get a clipboard from us they have everything all down we have every everybody set up we have close to 30 stations mm -hmm. that we run everybody through and we have a couple of hundred campers that come as early as Tuesday, stay through Sunday. And so they're putting all of their monies for supplies, suppers, whatever, they're putting it all back here between Casey's, Hubble House. These last, they come into cash and they come into the buffet king. They come last year when we were having everybody bug out, there were some of them that they couldn't quite make it all the way home because we have people come from Wisconsin, Iowa. We've had people come from all over. One, the one comes, he's over by the Nebraska border mm -hmm. to come and help us educate everybody's kids here. And so last year we're like, okay, get on this road, head out towards Cashin, quick trips on the very end of it, you know, so we brought it, you know, so a lot of people came and stayed here and then um, so the concerns you guys might have for us is we do dig a fire pit, which we turn the sod over, so we have a little pit, and we put our grate over it, and we burn our wood that way. That's the majority of us. There is a few that do have above ground braziers, which does not leave a mess behind at all. Um, you can talk to the, the Manorville's Park Department if you want. We've been always very happy. We always put the sod back, and we water it down. And by the next spring, usually it's a lot better. Well, and with the two the two major floods, 2010 and last year, mm -hmm. what was it, 2010, we only had one fire pit flip over. Yeah, well, all the rest of the water that, come down All of that water, because we one. packed them down quick <laughs> before we left and made sure everything was, you know, we didn't have to worry about them all, but we made sure that everything was packed down. 
and his dad had gone back after the waters receded and we only had one and all it did was just flip over so he went out and tamped it back down <coughs> and it came back. So. Um, we do provide our own firewood which is harvested locally here. I started out in my parents' place. Out in the last field, Yep. Um, we know there's no water spigots out there right now, but there is a fire hydrant nearby. And if we could get like a meter on that, we'll pay for the water. And then we'll just put a garden hose on that and run it as close as we can get to for filling up our water cans. If that's possible. Um, we do get a little uh, noise during the school day. If you've ever been out to Manorville, you know we fire off a cannon. Um, obviously, there's a senior citizen uh, apartment, apartment complex. complex nearby. We'll talk to and them. And the other apartment complexes. And the other people. Um, if, there's that would, a, if that would be allowed, it doesn't. We right. can work around that. Uh, there is a snowmobile trail that goes through the woods there, and so there's an opening. We can have that blocked off, so we can get on a trail, and we can. We'll put the sound wave through that out to the open field behind. Through the trees? Yeah. So we'll be facing away from everybody, not towards the highway. Take care of that. Um, the other location we've, we've kind of wondered about is actually it's a, a school property. They call it um, Camp Castle. Camp Castle for the truckers. Um, I don't know if you guys take care of that or not. We mow it. He would do mow it. Yep. Okay. I was kind of wondering about that property. It'd be a similar situation. Um, you would have to have a meter put in the uh, yeah, high ground there. Already. Oh, you do? Oh. Okay. It's already metered. That's where everybody gets their water already. And okay. Construction people come in. It's all metered. Yep. Um, the only issue with that one is we noticed that when the water flows through there, that one little part of the roadway there kind of washes it out. Well, it goes underwater. Look at that. That'd be the only concern is moving somebody in on during the rainy season. You know, uh, September usually is. Have you talked to JJ at all? I tried. I've we emailed him. And he says he's got to talk to the superintendent. Yep. The last communication we had was the 12th of April. Okay. And I sent another email to him uh, about two weeks ago. I haven't heard anything back from him since. I know he's busy being on with the, the fire department in Manorville. In fact, he's the one that helped bug us out last year. Um, do you have questions for us? What about your restroom facilities? I mean, we have a we have affordable portables come in. Oh, you bring them in yeah. yourself? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know and Manorville then, has like something there that's permanent. Well, they have the they have the they have the brick two there, but we have affordable portables come in and they bring us eight, I think. No. Well they got two the handicaps. Six. Really six? It's okay. It's I think it's like five or six they bring in for us. Yeah. And we do get the handicap ones, <coughs> so military yeah. people have no problems. Yeah, and then um, hometown haulers has been donating trash service for us. Yep. So we take and so they bring in they bring in a couple of like the two yard dumpsters and then they've been bringing us the like the residential size that we can put around and we always go in like the Tuesday be we're officially Thursday to Sunday we in Manorville we've gone in on the Tuesday gone through and like caught anything that's been missed from like Marigold days make sure we clean everything up make sure we've got everything set so we can put our fencing up for our event and then um, we always make sure that when we're done and everyone's left Sunday afternoon, we go through again and we always, because like both of our kids have gone through scouts and stuff, so we're outdoor code and make sure it's better than what we found it, so. Yeah. Um, well, we'll be putting up snow fencing in case you guys are wondering about blocking off the area so people just can't run through, especially with the playground there. Um, on the picture, I showed a line going almost straight across. That's where the snow fence line would be. And it would be back. It would back be back behind the playground area, which would actually work out better for us than what we've been doing in Cassin because, or in Manorville, because we've had to square around that because it's dead center of everything. So we've had to square around and then make a path so that they would be able to come in for that. I will let you know that if it does rain, this area right here does fill up with water. 
where you that, guys plan. That's yeah. where we plan with yeah. the camp. I, I know okay. I know it's because I we come down through here all the time. Okay, I've been kind of watching that with the, all the rain we've had, and that little creek back there got a little high, but it never got really too bad. Well, you notice after the it'll be on the north side of the creek that there's another little area there that. Okay. Okay. This is something to think about. At least but, the wet, not but flooded. squishy versus <laughs> running water. <laughs> <laughs> we've <laughs> yeah, we've got it out just in time to watch the water crest over top of the hill there at Manorville, coming yeah. down to the park. When you say parking for you know off to the side, how many vehicles are we talking? Um, we have no anywhere problem, from we have anywhere from what is it, fifty to sixty camps. Mm -hmm. So each one has at least one vehicle. So we got. Like on your map, where you've got the the cars parked on the side. Yeah. Um, we're talking 50 to 60 cars there. Yeah, it'll be all along the tree line there. Coming back towards. Yeah. Yeah, we, 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 we don't have the portion right here. Okay. Okay. For some reason, we didn't get that. Yeah, you'd have to talk to Carter or John. Yeah. About that. Okay. Well, let's probably talk to him anyways. Run the test line and left that tree road, tree line anyways, and. Keep people from coming through. And as for the visitors, uh, Ronnie, how many cars can we park in that that parking lot with playground modulars? Probably not very many. Probably about uh, maybe ten or fifteen. Yeah, how many how many outside visitors do you get coming on? Uh, on Saturdays and so on Saturday we're nine to five, and Sunday we're nine to three, and we have um, right around a couple of hundred visitors but that is that could be one person in one car or that could be a whole family of six in one car so it's not necessarily a hundred cars that come through there because being with Manorvilles we're able to park them in their gravel or they have or they'll park along that little side street yeah. and we don't usually fill that I don't believe that we've ever really like fully filled that gravel because so. they're sporadic coming through they'll spend like an hour or two and then and go the plans and are for the buses for school days and stuff make them stay around that road there not, not in the parking lot because yeah. yeah. it's plenty wide to be safe yeah. any other questions My biggest concern is, is, of course, the soccer group is here. Um, that area where you're setting up will be soccer fields. Okay. That's the most All of that we've heard, we heard already. Mm -hmm. So way off to the east side of that, we can come off the Or how much that. How much of that are you? Well, right now we're still in the planning stages of maybe possible maybe four or five different fields that would be put into that area. Um, and that area where it would be is that season type uh, soccer program spring summer and fall okay um, and I'm sure in September when you guys want this I'm sure soccer is probably still going or okay. you know until at least probably in October I, I'm not for sure okay um, but basically what I have met with that, that soccer group here here a week or so ago um, told them that um, I would <coughs> basically love to have them come down and use this area one. Number two, we would probably end up having to uh, roll and aerate these fields to try to get them as, as uh, smooth as we possibly can for yep. the kids. Um, so what I was thinking, just offhand, um, the area to the right side to the east here of the playground modular eventually is going to be turned into our Frisbee golf course. Okay. Um, I don't know how far we'll get to it this year. Um, I'd love to be able to put baskets in um, and maybe get some trees because I did budget for some money for some trees. Okay. Um, this area over here is relatively pretty good and dry, except for when you get down, probably down into this area down in here. Yep. But up in this area is kind of the high ground. There's a, a retention pond right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. See that. And you do have some pretty good area here at the east of that island. That there's an island actually that yep. sits right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I have no problem with that. And another situation too is that, you know, we do have that that uh, bike or that uh, snowmobile trail. 
mm -hmm. where even on this other side, you guys could even utilize this area on that. Oh, across that little bridge? We own that too. Okay. Um, but that's going to be, to be honest with you, yeah, just to let you guys know, we're going to end up putting a gravel parking lot in there. Um, and then that's the start of our Frisbee Golf Course where they would come and put four holes, use the bridge, and then continue on this side. Okay. Nine okay. hole course is what we plan on putting in this fall. Okay. No. Um, my biggest thing is, is my worry is, is first of all, is that we spent a lot of money on the grass. Mm -hmm. Okay. We mm -hmm. had a farmer come in. We had to pick rock. We did a lot of work out right. there because uh, it was just a plow field. It's a corn field. Yeah. My biggest concern is, is number one, if we do get a lot of rain, you know, um, number one, it's not tiled, Kay. okay, uh, number two, the grass has probably got about a good year and a half of sheet on it, um, we do got oats involved in there, um, I don't have no problem of overseeding it when you guys leave, okay. you know, or something like that, if things okay, because I mean, that's a good time to overseed anyway in the fall, but, um, my only major concern is the fire stuff, is the, is the digging of the, digging the fire pits. Yep. That, that's the, that's the okay. concern that I have. Mm -hmm. um, I would probably prefer no digging and have something above ground. Yep. I know you said that they, some yep. people have that. They do. They're, um, is there any way that you guys could really basically require that and yep. not have a digging in the ground? We can, well, we would have to let them know when they thing would is have to work around it. They have to purchase something else and carry extra things. And yeah. some of their guys are really packed with gills already. Yeah. Because that's the biggest thing that I, I, I have a concern because, you know, I mean, to, to come back and do it. And I know you can turn the sod back over and, you know, we're going yeah. mm -hmm. to we're gonna probably have to aerate that area anyway. Yep. Are um, you more thinking that it, it probably isn't really sod, is it? What you have there? No, it's just it's natural, not. natural, you know, yeah, yeah, it's soil. It, 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 isn't a, it, it wouldn't be a sod to really take up in pieces. You you take the top off and you just have pieces there. Exactly. So are you, would you be more comfortable with us going out to the Camp Cassin site? Personally, Potentially? Personally, you guys, I think it would be a better area for you guys. Yeah. And I think the farther to the east of Camp Cassin back there, if you look at it, the drier it is. You yeah. Have a lot of area back there. Okay. And this is you do have the in and out Camp Cassin map, right? Yep. And I can actually, and the reason why, because I, I think, you know, it's close to the school district, number one. Mm -hmm. But you have the area where you got it set up back in this area would be perfect. Yeah, we were out there where everything was really wet. Mm -hmm. and we this area stuff. where it was yeah. wet, that's where them, uh, Big Iron Classic people had problems, yep. and that's got to get fixed by them yet, the way I understand through the school district. But when it gets to be July and the fall, whatever, and that stuff, um, they'll be, they're going to be in there like a week before you guys would be in there. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, I would like to see personally, it would be better off for you guys to work this area up, and I can sure definitely talk to JJ and Mr. Matuska for you too. Okay. Know, That'd be awesome. You know, because I think that would work out a lot better for basically for you guys. Because mm -hmm. on this street here on Fifth, there's a hydrant. It's metered. Mm -hmm. You got a road back in there that's really pretty much been established where you can go back in there. Should be no problem that way. Um, parking is and easy. And parking is easy. Yeah. Um, the only thing is, is like you say, that wetter area. You know, that's got to get repaired. And and the school district knows that. And uh, they are dealing with the big iron class. Okay. okay. So when the Big Iron Classic people come through, and do they basically rent that from the school? Is uh, that it's actually just kind of a mutual agreement where the school, you know, what the school does, they just as soon have this grow up and be prairie grass and tall weeds. Okay. Yeah. Us as a city, we kind of made a little mutual agreement through our joint ventures that we would keep it mowed, you know, down. And the reason why that is because during the fair during our festival in the park, if there's yep. overabundance of people that come into town, at least we can kind of direct them to that over there. Mm -hmm. And that's where they would come and do it, set up a camper with a uh, generator, whatever, and that's where they kind of go. Mm -hmm. We don't really have a ca campground here in town. Right. But I do know when the Iron Classic, they utilize this. There's a lot of people that do go out there and that stuff. I think what's going to happen this year, to be perfectly honest, is that the school, if they get this repaired, they're not going to allow certain vehicles to get back there, heavy duty. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, which they did last year. The biggest double ruts. The yeah. biggest that we would have <coughs> we would need to find a place for two houses, small motor homes. But we but don't that could be have up by the, the garage there. That could be up by the garage, no problem, that stuff. So I tell you what we'll do is let me let me let me talk to Mr. Matuska um, on your behalf. Thank and, you. Okay. And um, see if we can maybe work this out and see if we can do something with that. Personally, whatever our new ground area here and with the soccer fields possibly mm -hmm. going into that area probably would not be maybe a good situation uh, because I do know that they will be set up. They're going to have a lot of work done yep. and to it, and we're going to probably do some overseeing, and it's going to be. You know, it, it gets into some expense, you know what I'm saying, as yep. far as us, mm -hmm. us doing it. But yep, I, I think it would be a, a good deal here. And if for some reason we can't get it there, we may have to possibly relook at something more to the east, down okay. here, yeah. or over back over here on the other side. Yeah, we're just, we're working out our options right now. We're trying to, we're trying to do our best to stay in Dodge County. We've always been based mm -hmm. here, and so we want to, you know, there's really, nothing feasible anymore in Manorville True. for us to be able to stay. True. Mm -hmm. And I mean, mm -hmm. I understand we're next to the river at the bottom of the hill, but a lot of our people yeah. are like, well, yeah. you know, just because we portray this time period, we don't necessarily mm -hmm. want to be right. swamped out every year. Right. Yeah. <coughs> and so we're we're checking areas, like we're, we've mm -hmm. come here to check with you guys. We're mm -hmm. um, looking we into possible it. Dodge Center areas. Even if say down the road in the future the grass and everything starts growing good back into that Lions mm -hmm. Park and we got our Frisbee golf course back there or something like that and we got trees mm -hmm. growing up, even in the future, you know, it might be a situation that we still might be able to use that area, just you know, close the Frisbee golf course down for that week, whatever or something mm -hmm. like that. I mm -hmm. mean, I, I'm more than willing. The only concern, like I say, that I have and I think this board agreed agrees too is that when it rains or something, we just don't want to have it just get into a bad situation yep. where we got ruts like this. Yep. And, and even when even when there. we've had to bug out of Manorville, we've not left. I don't think we've yeah, left really no, any back, any ruts. Water goes down it's just pretty much just thing. traffic foot traffic that pretty much tramples the grass. For the most of it, yes. Yeah. 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 It's not really yeah. vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. Or they're after the <coughs> burial days. And they do more damage than we do. They do, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And so, and like with us coming in, like if the school allows the Big Iron Classic there, mm -hmm. like they would leave, we would come in and, and, and end up cleaning up whatever they've left anyway. Yeah, because yeah. it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't look good for week. our event. It doesn't look good for... It's the next week, right? Yeah. 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 It's the 21st through the 24th this year. Okay. And so we would come in like Tuesday the 19th okay. Okay. and start working things up and getting everybody so that everybody can come in so that we can have kids first thing Thursday morning. Okay. Well, what so. is the board members? What do you guys think? I mean, did, uh, I mean, yeah, I maybe spoke out of turn or online, mm -hmm. but what do you guys think on that I part? I think that sounds yeah. good to me for the schools, too, I mean, for the kids. Mm -hmm. No, well, because, because, walk and because yeah. KM yeah. when they were when they were at the middle school they used to walk down the hill. Yeah. And then they didn't have to bus. Well, yeah. And you know, let's I'm gonna look at it to say where maybe Cap Castle doesn't work out. <coughs> okay, and just okay. look at look at the park that they're asking us for at this point. Um a couple of just my concerns is the parking. When you get fifty or sixty vehicles, not R C F talk to the clerk for John Blaine. Okay. You know, that's parking on their property and putting vehicles up. Um in that part of an area that you've got noted, so. Okay, which? Um, this area right which here. Which is the lines? Right here, that, that's you know, the lines that Blaine oh, owns right here. Like, oh, it cuts straight across from that <coughs> yep. complex? Yep, it cuts, this is Blaine's property right okay. here. So okay. So that's not, that right. so where you have that denoted as parking mm -hmm. for you yourselves, mm -hmm. you know, we, we don't, can't control that, so you'd have to get well, we there. Well, we would have to. Yeah. Or, or find, find an alternate, alternate source. Yeah. Now, if it is an alternate source, and you're going to say we've got, you know, 40, 50, 60 cars there at any given time, is our parking lot going to be big enough? Mm -hmm. and, and at that point, is there a park along the street? Um, it is a residential area that really has to have much behind them at all for, for activities. And if yeah. you throw something like that you know what needs to be unexpectedly and all of a sudden, they're parking well, in cul-de-sacs right. and things like that. That'd be a concern. Oh, you got 
the senior citizen Well, see, and, and I don't know, were you honestly even thinking about those cul-de-sacs as being we weren't honestly even no, thinking no. of the cul-de-sacs. No, no, the cul-de-sac to get back on the way to the site, right down the park along the three lines. But, but, but as long as the people are coming to the rendezvous, don't the begin public, to use The that. public would not know. We would, I mean, that would be yeah. something we have, no right. parking no, signs and stuff. We could and, and that would be my end uh, part to address that. There's one thing to I didn't speak I noticed that in the cul-de-sacs, there is a tile line um, that runs along the back of them, uh, them cul-de-sacs. It's about six inch. And when we came in here to dig this pond, that tile line got destroyed and we had to repair all that. The city did. Oh, you guys crossed okay. that on the way through? Yes. So then it's okay. a little bit heavier, so then you have a problem. Yep. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Oh, no. And I know Southridge mm -hmm. Town Homes would have a conniption uh, if we, yep. if we did, because okay. we, they they brought it to our attention that the tile line did get and we did dig down and we did repair it okay. mm -hmm. and that stuff. So um, there is a tile line on the end of them cul-de-sac, so you probably wouldn't want no vehicles to cross over that uh, off off that. Just to let you know on that. Okay. okay. That was a great thing well, that you and brought up. Well, I want to make sure you know that. Okay. And then. Um, one of the other things that we do have happen like that Tuesday is we always have Gopher One come in and d Gopher One yep. have them come Utilities. locate everything. Yep. Okay. So okay. we know where everything. Because we put fence posts in the ground. Yep. It's only that far in the ground, but. And we and like when when Manorville City Park put that new sidewalk in, we never drive over that sidewalk. Okay. okay. We have things arranged fire so that did. we don't have to. <laughs> Yeah. No, but like that's the fire department. Yeah. That's not us. Right. They've told us not to. We yeah. don't. So. I like the idea that you know we have the lines parked along the highway on the other side, mm -hmm. on the south side. That's a nice little area. And talk about traffic going by, going what's going on there? Yeah, you know, I know. A nice so, little visible. So you're talking like, like here, that yeah. park too. Yeah. Yeah. That's See that's that we park. didn't. When we just kind of quick looked out there, yeah. we weren't. We figured the tree line was the border. Yeah. We didn't realize that there was. So we've we've done that too. I guess. That's a good option. You know, so that helps splits you, but it also puts a, a divider between you Yeah. Mm -hmm. if you use both, which obviously could be compensated or... You know, well, if you guys well, are that looking at putting a parking lot in that area anyways, is yeah. it an area we'd actually park our vehicles on? Though? Yeah, there probably won't be a huge parking lot, but I mean, it would be enough probably for maybe 20 cars, 25 cars, probably. So, okay. So, well, well, I think, you know, my, my thought down to, you know, if it's not this year or next year down the future, I can see where since it's not grass, you dig a pit, you flip the sod, mm -hmm. you pack it back in. If you guys come back and finish that, I have no problem with that. Yeah. Okay, you know, I'm not going to be concerned about a little lot of holes about something like your organization coming in and putting out what you do for the kids and the townspeople to see and the community to see. I think we're going to, you know, holes isn't going to matter. You're going to fix that. That's, that's mm -hmm. repairable. So yep. if it was a soccer field, holes do matter because you got yeah, traffic oh, yeah. on yeah. the little side. Yep. So that's yeah. where. My two my concern would be is the parking. You know, what about people in color sacks <coughs> and like so we've got two different spots to work with. So okay, um, yeah, if you can work on Camp Gaskin for us, be yeah. awesome. I will I will get a hold of JJ and, and yeah. Mark Matuska personally. Um, and I'll talk we were trying find uh, one thing to get out before the end of the school year where we're going to be. That right. way, the schools and planning is what it's for. But we can okay. con if we have to, we can contact so them. They'll I guess did you guys have any? Somebody yeah. during the got your number here because of Mark. JJ, want, I'll make sure they get a hold of you. You might want to possibly meet with them too, just like mm -hmm. you need to come here and yep. just explain everything mm -hmm. to you with that stuff. And I'll do my best to explain to them what's, what the whole deal is, okay. what, we're, what we're thinking about. Does that sound okay? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That sounds really good. You guys have anything you want to? I'm not going to park right now. Yeah. Hmm? I'm all right with the school property. Mm -hmm. But as far as, like, say, digging holes and like I said, if you're worried about the holes, you can always talk to Manor. Park, parking's, not a, parking's not an issue, I don't think. You know, we have the property on the south side, and you guys can travel through on the, on the snowmobile bridge. That's mm -hmm. not a problem, I don't see. But um, like Ronnie says, it's not shot right now. Mm -hmm. It's actually yeah. it's kind of a, a weed or grass right now. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I, we've yeah. been out there We're walking around, so we know it's, it's a rural mix. mix. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. His mom has that across the road from her yeah. too. They took a house down and threw her own. <coughs> but I think I think you've got everyone's blessing that we're going to work with you and find you so yeah. 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 we all feel that way. Yeah, I'd like to have keep the town if you can because yeah. yeah. it does bring this town and mm -hmm. also strengthens what we offer mm -hmm. in the town itself. So. And for and for Manorville, we do what we've been doing is they have us rent the pavilions, and so we pay them. 
the rent for the pavilion. So we don't have a million yet. No. <laughs> right, but I mean, we've, so what is that? That's been 120? I believe so for the weekend. We've given them 120. Okay. But we got the school law, so negotiate with town, tell them that there's no blessing fees. No. And you so guys that would take care of that. all your portables, like yes. the job yep. document, yep. mm -hmm. all the restrooms. Yep, we rent, we, okay. we rent, like I said, we have, um, right, when you come in, we have, we had one, we had one out towards three, four, at least five, if not six portables okay. that we go ahead and rent. There's two in each location. Yeah. And like I was saying, in the future, when we do have our golf course set up and we have everything all in place, and say for some reason we, we, we still utilize, and we still can utilize this, I guess I have no as problem like with backup, it. Yeah, right. As a backup. Yeah, as a backup. We just have to work around the, the frisbee golf baskets and a few trees, you know. So that's not any problem. That should even be no problem. But, yeah. um, but I just want to let you guys know that's what our plan is okay. in the future in this area. So, but we can we can all work for that, like Grace said. We can cool. Work yeah, I think it's okay. Yeah. Cool. Did can you we say their number? Yeah. I wrote down Carter's okay. number there in case they wanted to call back. Okay. But Where's I don't Carter's think number? it's even going to be over this there. This I don't. Yeah, I think it. Carter, knowing uh, knowing uh, that there's that okay. extra corner back behind the trees, we probably don't yeah, need to go, go that to that way. one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But our our numbers. Do you want? Yeah. I suppose you can just call me. Uh, it's five zero seven two five one seven three five six. That's my cell phone. And like I said, I'll uh, I'll get a hold of the school for you, and we'll see what we can do. Thank you. Sound good? Yes. So. Thank you guys. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Since we're kind of into that part, soccer. I think we'll just have the soccer team come back Sounds in right good. away, <laughs> and you uh, guys can kind of talk. And Sam Wiegand, Lynn Beckard, and Leo Barbosa. Uh, and basically, uh, as you guys covered, we're here to inquire about soccer fields. And um, did have a layout here of what it might look like. give you a, a little history about us. Um, we've been established since 1995, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But uh, for the past five years, we've served uh, just about 400 kids uh, in the month of spring. And uh, we, there's also uh, interest for, uh, for kids uh, to participate in soccer in the summer and also in the fall. Um, the fields that we currently are right now, uh, there's a lot of uh, irrigate or drainage issues, and um, we can't have the goals there for the kids. Uh, we have to move them around, so um, so that's why we're inquiring about that right now. Yeah. So, oh, I met with Dave, right? Mm -hmm. I met with Dave, like I said, here talking to this other group, whatever, probably about a week and a half ago, maybe a couple of yep. weeks ago. And you guys were there too. Um, their, their thing that they came to us is because number one, like Dave was saying, um, the soccer fields out to the school, whatever. And I will tell you this: there right. are some issues. Mm -hmm. There's some major issues there. Yeah. They need to spend some money. The school district does to to get something done with their fields and that stuff to get it at least in a playable position. Because if you have <coughs> a storm or even an inch of rain, whatever, you got you got some major problems. And uh, then they they're dealing with a compaction problem just unbelievable there. So what they did, the group come down and asked me to take a look at the Lions Park area. And um, I thought personally as being park director and for the city, whatever, I would love to have a beach at facility. The more people we get down in a new park, the better off we are. We do have the space. We went 
through kind of the area where I thought that would be kind of a good area for them. Um, and um, basically when I told Dave and the other people that come up with a plan, and this is what they came up with, with how many fields that they possibly need in the area. Um, and uh, it's going to cover what age groups again, Dave? Pre-K to um, be under 14. 16. 16. Oh, I'm out. Yeah, that's right. Um, so 16 years old. 16. So, yeah, yep. so pre-kindergarten or whatever, all the way to 16. So you got, you're got you talking a lot of kids, about 450 somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and plus we lose a lot well, to other towns because we don't have travel. But right. if we have better fields and we have a uh, coach, we probably could pull in at least another 50 to 75 kids. Okay. Uh, especially the older groups. Okay. And could you just kind of touch base and let us know basically what the seasons are for number one? I know you told me, but let the board know kind of where you're looking at what time frames during the year. Um, sure. Um, so <coughs> the season for the spring starts in uh, first week of April and goes up until uh, May, the end of May. Last week of May. Last week of May. And we also, um, that's what we've offered. Uh, and we're also going to start offering. Uh, summer, which is six weeks, and it goes from June 6th, I believe, to July 14th. So, so May 29th uh, to mm -hmm. July 15th. 15. Yeah. And then you have uh, you have your fall season, which goes uh, the same time as the high school season. So that will be a shoot for fields as well, uh, mm -hmm. playing in high school. Um, so that's the that three season we have like spring, summer, and uh, now fall. are we still looking at the same group amount of people at all? Three seasons. <laughs> um, no, no, because then the older kids would be uh, going to play with oh, with, with the high, high schools. School. So yeah. in the fall season, it's a little bit less. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And okay. we generally have not offered pre-K through six in, in the fall, just okay. because of the amount of work. Okay. So, so we concentrate in the spring. Not to say that we wouldn't do that, um, but we just we haven't done it in the past. But. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so really, basically, when you look at the layout, whatever, um, I, I asked him to do that, and um, and I have no problem with it. And then we discussed it that <coughs> day out there in the field, like I say, I mean, it's fairly new established grass. We already kind of talked about that. Um, as years go on, you know, over season, and it'll start filling in more and more and more. Um, but I do know that um, with this field, um, there's issues, number one of, of number one is painting and getting it designed um, and uh, aerating and keeping them rolled out and trying to keep them as, as level as we can, you know, and keep them somewhat not compacted, you know, and we got the equipment to be able to do that. Um, where we're going to share, like me and Dave, we kind of discussed whatever, we'll do whatever we can do and you guys can paint and do whatever. I prefer, to be honest with you, is you guys should shut them up in the beginning of every season. So when you guys come out, I don't care if you guys put in plugs <coughs> or, you know, so you, you can go in, you can locate them or whatever and start the season out every year. I have no problem with that. Um, that may, might be easier for you guys once you get everything designed off and you put in, you know, they make them kind of them soccer mm -hmm. plugs now or whatever and stuff that you can do that. It'd be a lot easier for you guys. Once you get them designed out, then we can come in there as the park department, get in there, aerate it, roll them out, maybe throw a little seed down in the in the spring right away, get things kind of going because actually tweet marks actually help the grass grow. They actually drive it down into the into the dirt. So that 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 to me would be the big help in the beginning from you guys. Um, when your season, you say goes about what in the spring for what five six weeks? Is that basically what eight, it is? Eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks. weeks. How many times do you guys think would have to be repainted? How, how many often times did you guys repaint the school? Did you guys once do any of the painting? You did paint once a week we out the we school? We paint once a week out the school. You do paint it once a yeah. week. Okay. The mowing is is what really wrecks the paint. Yep, but it does. Um, the, yep. the, um, the, w the rain doesn't help it either. Doesn't but help we either. usually do it about every week, week and a half. Okay. So. <coughs> I know for sure my group, I don't have enough time and effort to do that every week. I will be honest with you. Um, probably in an eight week season, we could probably paint it maybe a couple times out of the eight weeks probably to help you out. Um, what we usually, I'm sorry. You know, that's what I'm kind of looking because I know I, I want to try to keep it and work it as much and keep it, you know, nice for the kids, you know what I'm saying? 
I don't want extra work for you guys or extra work for us to do it because we're going to go down and mow at least once a week there. That's an automatic. We will mow once a week there. Um, so, um, and like I said to you, Dave, in the beginning, um, we will mow it high. I know soccer fields, we like to have it kind of low, but in the beginning, to get that grass to go, we're going to have to mow it high to kind of get that thing thickened up or whatever. So, um, just to let you know on that part here, this first season or so, or, you know, just to let you know on that. <coughs> Um, I, I like your design. Um, have you guys, um, have you walked the area just to be sure? I know you guys were out the other day. You guys really looked at it pretty good, or what did you think? We, we haven't walked the area, uh, but just to go over that and just to clarify which area it was exactly that you had pointed out mm -hmm. uh, that was allotted for us. Mm -hmm. um, in the front uh, paper there, there's that white line. I'm sorry, it's black and white. Mm -hmm. uh, there's that white line. It's very faint to see. Was that was that the area that you were talking about, or does it go all the way out uh, yeah. to where the smaller? Yeah. Basically, what's this 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 square thing here? That's the playground modular. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's, that's the playground modular. Yeah. Okay. And I have no problem with that going going that far over. Great. Um, that that be fine. That's for the little ones. Yep. yep that's for the little ones. Yep. That that's fine. Okay. And then I think staying where you're at. Where you've got it kind of designed out, mm -hmm. it's probably the driest area where you're going to have. Perfect. You know what I mean? So that that's a good part. You start getting back to more to the south when it does rain, it does get a little wet, and we talked about that. So as far as going that way, yeah, as far as doing where you got it designed out, I think it looks great. Okay. Okay. The only little thing that I do kind of caution is is that retention pond. You know, you know that pond back in there where the little bit people are, you know, where the fields are. You know, the little more fields. Isn't that back in there? You'll see. In the woods. Isn't that higher than what he's on his map? Yeah. What here? The retention yeah, pond is right. The retention pond is right here. Okay. So, okay. That does fill up. At occasionally, if we get rain, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and we don't fence that, just to let everybody know. So just always be cautious of that, you know, because it it can get you know probably three feet deep sometimes. Mm -hmm. It does drain. They call it a retention. That's what it is, retention pond or retention dump. It drains back out to the creek. They're detention ponds, right? Or de retention. Detention, detention. Yeah. retention, I think, goes into the earth. And yep. Detention. Yeah, detention. Yeah. yeah. And it takes a while for it to drain out, but I just want to make sure, you know, during the season, we, we could that could fill up a little bit with water. So just make sure, okay. you know, we don't get kids playing around it. We need to have someone, you know, go down in there and, and get in trouble or something. Mm -hmm. It's only probably about three foot deep, but it's still deep enough, okay? Um, that'd be my only concern as far as that goes, but um, I think what you guys did and did your homework on that part, I, I have no problem with it. I mean, I, I, I think it would work out fine. Right. Another question. Um, the trees there in the middle, that area, is mm -hmm. there any way to... Or do we have to work around that? Yeah. Uh, oh, the tree that that uh, island there. Yeah. Yeah. That. Uh, I'd love to have that island go. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, eventually, it might go. I, I can't say. In the future, it may. You know, it'll probably be gone because <coughs> it's in that whole area. But that'd be a lot of work for us to get in there and, and mm -hmm. take them all out and pull out the stumps and get everything more level back off. You know, that always been there but they actually had that cornfield and they worked around that thing mm -hmm. so it's always been there okay. so we just kind of went around it you know what I'm saying yep. um, but me personally and I know our group or our park department we want to see that gone but I, I can't promise you when or how we can get it but, but um, well if they farmed around it there's probably a reason why there's probably a reason why <laughs> exactly I'm sure there's or a lot a of stuff in there. Or a wet spot. yep or something um, so yeah, um, I think it would work out fine. What do you guys think as members as far as, uh, as the area? And, and another thing is, um, you know, we, we plan to use that yes. also for tournaments, to host tournaments, so we'll be able to bring people in and, you know. Okay. From other communities. Yes. Okay. Now, like I say, the biggest issue, like we, like we just talked to this last group, is the parking. Right. We do have the issue on that because I think that parking lot, like Greg said, how many can fit in that gravel parking lot? You know, probably I'm thinking maybe 40 to 50 cars if they're parked right. You know what I'm saying? And they can, you know, you can park coming in too a little bit, you know. Parking
parking out on County 34. I guess I've never seen <coughs> the cars ever park on County 34. Uh, but there's no parking signs there. I mean, that, that might be an issue where we might have to at least let the county guy, Colin Hoffer, possibly know, you know, um, if we can park along that county road. There is no parking signs there? No, is there, 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 there aren't any signs no, here. Just no. okay. never seen anybody park yeah, there. Yeah, because if you guys have tournaments, you have a lot of parents coming in, that, that little parking lot ain't going to hold all the cars. We know that. Well, even every Tuesday and Thursday, you're talking to you know, 200 kids per yeah. hour. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So there's going to be, you know, if we keep the same schedule we have right now, Tuesdays and Thursdays, it's going to be... We fill up the school it's parking chaotic lot. chaotic because the school parking lot is yep. chaotic. Yep. Mm -hmm. My dog well, played and <laughs> it's not, yeah, I mean, especially when there's something else going on, but just us ourselves, we, we can take up a, a good portion of that of that um, parking lot. Oh, wow. So, um, I'm sorry. No, I was going to ask you about goals. <laughs> That's what I was just going to ask you about, too, because yep. we're going to need, as far as I understand, I, I'm just kind of coming into this, but eight goals. Um, last couple of years ago, we spent on goals, and I think we spent uh, around three grand for <coughs> a set of goals. So um, there's a significant uh, upfront purchase with with uh, eight fields needing the the 25 foot goals. Um, so we're talking you know, a significant amount of um, startup costs, which right now we you know we have the school we utilize their their facility, so um, we can. We can apply for a grant through MYSA, which is what we're affiliated with, Minnesota Youth Soccer. Um, I don't think it's going to cover anywhere near that, but it, that can definitely help. So maybe a grant or two. Okay. Now, what time of the season, if this all happens, I know you told me, Dave, what, what would you be looking at? Would you look at, at this summer, to start <coughs> up this summer? Um, probably the summer league, probably? Yeah. I mean, I do. I mean, I did it be this summer, okay. but we really need it uh, for the fall because of the school. Because of the school soccer will be using the field. Okay. Summer. So what time is that? Could you send me the season? The times, the, the times when they do come. You know, the seasons number one. Um, I think number two. Um, you probably won't be able to get all the goals this year. I'm sure because that's going to be a money situation for you. Yeah. Um, I know paint's not cheap. Nope. I know that because I buy it. <coughs> paint's not cheap. Um, so um, I know your funds, I'm sure, are limited, whatever, in that part of it, too. And so as far as the painting, we usually have, we usually hire a, a high school helper or something, so mm -hmm. they usually will supply the paint. They usually go out there with their paint tray and, and go to town. So normally, that's what we've done in the past, so I don't really see that as being a, a function of the park for, I mean, Right. We're never going to say no to free right. things, but, um, <laughs> yeah. but we usually take care of that. I'm, I'm a bit worried. I don't know if there's any bathrooms out there. There's one portable, and I have no problem with ordering a couple more. Um, park board, do you have any problem with that? No, a couple more. Fine. Well, you'd have to have yep, something on there. It wouldn't be an option if you, if right. you allow this to yeah. go through. We would have to <coughs> buy a few more port portables. We're going to have to. My only concern is if we allow all this these soccer fields, we're cutting down on where we're planting trees, where we're putting up pavilions, what what we're really looking to do with the park besides just soccer, soccer. fields. Right, mm -hmm. right. I mean, this area where they're looking at here, I mean, is basically, it looks like 240 foot long, um, you know, um, I, I mean, I, most they, of our they want the same area straight across the board. So we're, we got this left and a little bit of here to play with. Well, we'll go to the retention pond, basically. Um, basically, the retention pond. But our Frisbee golf course actually is going towards the east. Our Frisbee golf course is going to go towards the east. And the retention pond would be right here. So we got all this area here for our... our what you're talking is just on the other side of these. You're going to have to play through all this to get to the even do any trivia. Yeah. Well, I know one thing. On this other side, on the south side of the highway, there's going to be four holes there. I know that for sure. That's already been, I already got that kind of designed. And then this way, we're going to have the other, we need to get five more other holes. But remember, we're going to go do a bridge, you know, right behind June Newports, and we're going to still utilize the other part of that Lions Park. 
for the other Frisbee golf course too. So I think what we can do for the, for the small kids where they got these small fields, um, you know, we may we may end up having to maybe look at that a little bit. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, Was this something that Carter Blaine might have come into play where? You know, if he if he doesn't build that thirty apartment complex for twenty years or thirty years, and it's maintained properly, and it's in the high side, you know, it would be a good temporary fix for a soccer association or <coughs> a city or something jointly or whatever it's got to be to take some of these fields and put them up on the Carter's area. I don't think that once you start. Maintaining that field, you don't want to. Well, yeah, I mean it's his property. Any time he could say. Well, that's something that we'd have to understand. <coughs> we'd have to understand, but at this point, uh, you know, I'm looking at we've got two different size soccer fields, right? Is that for the different age groups? Three. Well, besides the little ones. Besides the little ones, right? Okay. And looking at the map, two of those, one for sure, it can't be used with that island there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say two of them. Okay, and the bottom one, let's say the two bigger ones. Um, are contradicting a little bit based on the boundaries. I'm not sure how far for the west we can go to get that field to fit. I think we got to do some more looking. Um, you know, put the two bigger ones on. Yeah, I don't know. I guess the layout looks good here, but until you get it actually, what do you got to move? Can we get that island down there? And probably not, like I said, if a farmer farmed around it and never took care of it, there's probably a reason why. Um. Well, there's 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 another another option here yet too. Um, you know, we've got the future of our basketball court and our tennis court you know, along that parking lot. You know, um, when we're going to do that? I mean, we haven't. Uh, you know, um, that's you know that's another option too. You know, up here. Um, when we get, until we get to the point where we got enough money to be able to do it. When we do it, you know, I just like I say, I mean, it, I, I can see where you guys need all these fields, but there might be a situation we may end up not being able to do. You know, I can see two of these fields fitting right now. Yeah. You can you can have your you know your 12 and your 10 mm -hmm. for sure, but these two here, I don't see them. The south one for sure. The far south. Yes. Yeah. If you switch these two, you bring your big one over here and you put your small one over here, you got two fields for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, you flip flop these here. Uh, this one here, I honestly don't see you having a field there. Unless, some, unless and we're not taking out any more trees along that river, so. But th this is the, the yeah. max size of the field that you can have, you know, of course, right. like a football field, for example, you can go from 100 yards to one, 120, I think that's maxed out, right? I mean, well, so what that's the biggest field that, that you can have, you can make it a little small, that's not a, yeah, no problem. No. Okay. Because so you can have tournaments, you want to actually make sure it's going to be of a regulation size at that point, too, so, you know, I hate to make it go smaller, <coughs> also now you can't have these tournaments. You know, so the but the other thing you said, and you said as well, I mean the layout, um, that's the that's that's what you need. That's what you have r right now in the school, you know. But I mean you can you can, can move yeah you can move them around and make it fit somehow. Different. Yeah. Okay. But you you guys do need at least four. Size I can see three of them here for sure. I mean, you know. bring the big one over here, you turn that one there, and put the little one right here. But Do you need six small ones on? Mm -hmm. well, that's the majority of the younger uh, kids. The younger really kids that come out to play, I, and I've been through that, and it's it's great when they're out there playing. It is. I've been through it too. It's okay. awesome to watch. Okay. They have fun. Well, I think probably the best bet where we do is I think the only way we can do it, it can be on paper, but we need to go out there and figure out and just measure them out yeah. and see what works yeah. the best. It <coughs> would be yeah. the best way to do it and look what we got for, for room, you know. 
I think that's the only way. I mean, we can sit here and look and discuss whatever until we really go out and see what we got. The lay of the land is going to tell you, you know, and it, it's not level. And the school fields are actually leveler than probably what you're going to get out there. Mm -hmm. But like you say, it's the water problem up there is yeah. horrible. Mm -hmm. And I got I got enough seed to redo all these. I just ordered five bags, um, you know, and that stuff. So I got enough to oversee these fields once they get marked. Once we get them all established, then I can oversee them right away, and I can roll them. So I have enough. I have enough seed already. I pre-planned that already to do that anyway down in that area. So <coughs> I budgeted that out. So that's not the problem. But I think the biggest thing is that when you guys want to go down and to do these fields, um, you know, I don't know if you can do it during the day when a working day, whatever. That maybe get a hold of me and we can all be down there and meet and figure it all out. That might be a good way of doing it. What do you guys think? I mentioned this area where our future basketball and tennis court goes um, along the parking lot. Would be what I'm talking about is up here. It's on the west side. On the west side of the parking. Could we get a couple small fields up there for right now? Sure. Be great. And I know you guys like to keep all the small <coughs> fields in one area. Is that kind of what your really your goal is? Is to kind of keep them in that one area? Okay. Yeah. For the summer, uh, we're not going to offer for the little ones. Uh, we're gonna offer something competitive for the for you. So you need to have a little bigger field anyway. So those are gonna wait mm -hmm. until the fall or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any questions? Any other questions? Whatever on it. What do you guys all think? I mean, do you think this is feasible? You think we can work it out? I'm sure, we can work something out, but I I just don't see all that getting worked in there. Yeah. We're gonna have to, I'll have to take a look. Like I said, I, I just assume be down with you guys once we get things measured out, and then we can go from there, Jason. I think that might be the best bet because, like I said, we, we have slated a Frisbee golf course in that area. And, but I did tell you it's gonna go more to the east mm -hmm. than it is going to the west. Mm -hmm. um, how many how many are you putting in by report then? Are you the back where she fenced it, is that fence going um, away, or are you gonna go around no, that? No, no, we'll just have a bridge to go in in between there to be able to get back to the start of the Frisbee golf course, whatever. But we're going to have to make a path between Southridge townhomes mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's we own that land that and where all the trees and all that is. Mm -hmm. That's our land, mm -hmm. whatever that stuff. But we're not going to get in there and cut it down because it is wetlands and we have certain guidelines we can't touch, you know. Mm -hmm. But along the edge of Southridge property, there will be a pathway there so they can go up to 34 and then We'll be using some of the baskets over around 34 where they are now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that'll be part of the course too. So um, if we're ever going to get an 18 hole course, um, I think we can. I really get, I think we have enough room there, but we'll just have to, like I say, we'll have to we'll have to walk it out and try to redesign it and you know try to get it figured out. <coughs> so and we've. I'd rather set the baskets, then I'll set the trees. <laughs> Figure the course out first, then put the trees, because we got we did budget four thousand dollars for some pretty nice trees to go in that area, and even on the other on the south end. So. Um, so Ron, you're talking about the sixth little kid field would be up a little bit along the park. On the west side. That's west side of the. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm thinking um, for right now. Because I think our biggest thing next is we want to get a we want to get a shelter there, right? I was going to say the one comment I've heard from daycares and everything is there's no shade up there. Mm -hmm. Like they yeah. don't take kids to the playground because there's no place to go, and right. you got to consider a shelter before yep. too long. That, that's what we're going to do a shelter. Yeah. Up there. Yep, and the shelter yep. will be on the other. Well, no, the, actually, the shelter will be on the other side of the parking lot. It'd be on the east side of the parking lot. Right. right. Yep, right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, but like you said, Ron, the best thing would be to just move them up there. So how, how much smaller can we make these fields to still make it work? Um, Based I can, on I'll probably move things around and just send you a few other layouts. Okay. So that might that might work for us and okay. you know, we'll go from there as opposed to going out there before. Just walking, just walking it all. Yeah. 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 yeah I think you have to assume you're not going to move that tree, that island. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think you have to work around that and get out there and really see what's Okay. Not saying in the future that it might not happen in some of it, whatever, you know what I mean? And then we might have to maybe <coughs> design it, maybe possibility down the road. But I know for right now, with our hands being tied with certain things and certain things that we've been done, right, I just can't see us going out there and doing it right now. Right. <laughs> uh, and I don't know how much on that island you would have to take out, you know, maybe not okay. all of it. Okay. It might just be on the northern edge of it. But we're here to work with each other. I mean, we'll do the best we can. I think, I think we really want the park to be utilized. And mm -hmm. It's going to be nice to have people in there. Oh yeah. I did tell you, remember, we are going to put a street light right on uh, the right on the playground modular there to light that up uh, where we put them trees. We planted the trees along that playground there. Um, so, um, yeah, so we'll have a, a street light there because uh, it is dark down there. Probably even have some more lighting in the parking lot uh, coming <coughs> up the electric line, so it will kind of be lit up a little bit that way. Um, and we'll just have to, you guys give me another design, give us another design, sure. and see what you guys want to do, and, and we'll go from there. Okay. Cool. That sounds, sounds good. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sounds great. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Have a good night. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. So are they gonna we gonna need water up through there? Hydrants? No, I told them I told them that it'd be relied on Mother Nature only. Because the hydrant is out on thirty four and no, it's not <coughs> slated to put any hydrant into the park at all. That would have been extremely expensive to come off. But we can do it, don't get me wrong. I know Doug knows that we can come off a hydrant and run a line and bring another hydrant down there, but we don't have the irrigation system to be able to take care of the fields. The school, they don't have it. They're just oh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking just water, you know, because we get a pavilion, we're going to want water to the pavilion anyways. But yeah, we'll have to do that at that time. Yeah. You, just, you just tap the main. Yeah, tap yeah, the main. Or the fire and have your meter at the, at the Pavilion. Yeah. I guess we, we can also, in, you know, as we've talked about, you know, pavilions, basketball courts, tennis court. You know, I don't say we shouldn't use this for soccer fields, but we can't get away the purpose of the park either. Right. Of the things yeah. that we want to go in there. And you know, to say, oh, here's a great idea. What about what about the you know where are these going to go? If you move the six little kid fields, you know, to the west side of the the parking lot. Okay, so where's the basketball court going to go? Where's the tennis court? Yeah. Obviously, a soccer field is much cheaper because it's grass than it is a structure. <coughs> um, I just don't want it to get started there. Yeah, Because yeah. then nobody's going to want to tear it down. That's right. I, that's my only concern. I agree. Yeah, right on, too. Mm -hmm. Well, the fields are so great right now. Well, we're going to tear up two of them because the basketball court's going in. Well, that's and that's and then why you gotta find another spot to try to there. act so quickly and to get this done and they're ready to go by fall. A they're, they're running a little late, I, I would say, for looking for fields, especially with summer ball. Don't they have up by Prairie Meadows or Prairie? Yeah. I don't know if they do or not. Yeah. <coughs> you know, yeah, who's using the northwest? northwest, northwest there? Uh, in the northwest. In the northwest, whatever that's used for football, pretty much all the way, and then uh, they have some other youth groups that traveling team soccer yeah, that I don't, don't use them. I don't think. We've ever played soccer over there. It's always been up to the high school. Yeah. Or the church, whichever one. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Chuck. Yeah. Sure. Hi, Chuck. Yep, <laughs> yep, my stranger in the crowd. <laughs> but my kids were growing up, you know, I was in the same situation. Guys, were, my, we played soccer out there, but we did play out on the northwest side. No, can't can't they, they utilize that? <coughs> we yeah, it may not be all, this, you know, all fields in the same spot. And the tournaments wise, yeah, it makes it nice, obviously, because it's all one They've location. got one big trailer with all their equipment. Yep. That's the only problem I see. They want to stay right. in one area so they, they can lock everything up right there. They don't have to travel back and forth. And I understand that 100%. Oh, I, I agree. But to try to jeopardize you know, the I mean purpose of the park, right. you know, yeah. I, I, don't mind a few, I don't mind a few going in. 
just what they what they want to do is they want to take over the park. And I, yeah, and I have a problem that's with that. They don't have to have that many fields. It's just so here, here's a question then. To have a tournament, do they need to have four large fields? No. Oh, you're going to have for, a tournament, tournament with three. Okay. You're so going you're gonna to have to work everybody in, and it's going to be a longer day. You know, or so it could be two days. Right. Because you well, know, even if they got down to two fields, two large fields and six small fields, you know, is two large fields enough? Mm -hmm. That's all they have now. Versus three. There's two large fields up there, so and a bunch of and a bunch of little ones. So and if they're just having the problem for the school, I mean, they're just trying to relocate. It. Yeah, there's a, I think they're 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 looking to grow for the future. Right. I mean, everybody's looking for room. I mean, that's what Ronnie knows that we all know there's not enough ball fields, baseball. There's not enough soccer. I mean, we have to do something. You know, we can't put some here, put over there. Yeah. You know. Gotta be together. The with the school and the city and. There again, need to figure it out. This area isn't big enough for that soccer complex, like they're talking. Uh, unfortunately, no, no, this is just like the softball complex or the baseball complex. It's not big enough. Right. The lay of the land, yeah. and it, it gets just as wet down here on the south side. Ron, you know that. Well, like you said, it's not real level either. Hey, I've got a I mean, comment. Just here. I no, think I what what's happening. At one time, we had kind of a comprehensive outline of what we we're going to do with Lions Park. Correct. Maybe we need to revisit that and come up with a long-term plan rather than all of this. Jump into something. Quickly. Yeah, we're we're Ooh, dealing with regretted. issues that are never going to go away. They're just going to keep getting worse. You know, I mean, I I I had an idea while I was sitting here. You talked about tennis courts. What's wrong with the existing site for the tennis courts? It's where they are now. Do we do them? They don't necessarily have to go here, do they? No, they don't. Same with the basketball court. The basketball court would be nice down here for the people who live what? on this side of town. Do we need? Do we need to? No. Do we need to dig out a thing where, uh, you know, for the skateboard park? Just leave the skateboard park the way it is and move the basketball court next to the skateboard park. But I, but I think really what we need to do is as a as a body here, we need to sit down and and. Put a plan in writing of what we're going to do with this thing. And stick to it. And and just have a long-term development plan. Yeah. And then we know what to uh, uh, go to the city council that. for, too. You know, rather than just this piecemeal. Yeah. So wasn't it last year that we kind of I thought we had one, kind of. And had <laughs> one. Yeah. <coughs> Well, at that point, we didn't have the soccer. You know, the soccer problem was already. There wasn't a problem for soccer at that point, or space for fields and stuff. So, right. I guess it, it, part of it gets down to be where. Are we planning these parks to have complexes of? We have our soccer complex, our softball complex, our. You know, or or do we have a park? We have a variety. That's how I feel a park you know, should be. And these parks are community parks in different parts of our community and we want to have a little bit of everything in each park so people throughout the city can enjoy their park. Like you say, yeah. You know, and that's I think to get into a, a soccer complex or it may not be the right terms, but you know, eight fields or seven fields, that's a soccer complex. That's not a park anymore. Tuesday Tuesdays and Thursdays it would not be a park. Mm -mm. You know, it would be mass chaos. It, it is crazy. And, and nobody would want to go to the park and use, you know, so we, and again, I have to go back to the roof, so why do we, you know, what are we going to do with this park line that we got to benefit that south side of the tracks? So, um, unfortunately, there's a need for land and flat land and good land. Hmm. Um, that gets developed, though. Have we got a city planner yeah. at this juncture? What's that? Have we got a city planner? No. No. Yes, no. No? A little work in it. Oh. Well, that, right now. that might be a useful thing for a consultant of some sort to take a look at what we have and come up with, let, let him know what our different options are and, and, and who wants what and figure out the best way to utilize that real estate. 
Yeah. Think there's some meetings. We've already done right now. We got a comprehensive. Yeah. yeah. But there, there's some talk of revisiting all that right now. So I mean, there's no money for any planning. The whole thing with budget and all that is going to be looking over the comprehensive yeah. plan and, and going through all this again. Now this is all kind of in the works right now. So I think you know, one of the challenges is these guys want it for fall. I don't, you know, we can say we can get you a plan for one year because obviously we're not going to be putting a lot of stuff into this area or two years or three years, but it's going to get, you know, like I said, it's probably going to get dug up, moved, changed. Um, it might be a band aid for right now to give them some places to play, but um, it'll go back to our, you know, our, our park land. Is there room up at, at Diamond Park to put in? Well, city, should we? Does the city have anything in the budget for planning? See, this is the same issue that we're dealing with baseball. It's the same issue. It is. So we're dealing it's with not enough room. It's the same yeah. issue. Because uh, otherwise, we're going to end up with a mess. You know, what work we saw here tonight is going to be routine facilities. I I'm sorry, I need lack facilities. I think uh, it's uh, one thing. I understand like that. Like I said, there's some things in, in the works right now that facilities. departments are going to be uh, asked to come forward and go over yeah. that comprehensive plan and yeah. look at it again. Because we're growing, and I mean, yeah. we could, you I'm not, have some and I agree, you know, this could be a facility, but it can't be a park then. Yeah. You have a plan in the plan <coughs> or anything? No. For this type this, of facility. This many fields as we take bus. Yeah. You'd never yeah. get enough parking for And you also have to consider the residents that are right in these cul de You know, these guys can say they won't park there, but the person come and tell us like, well I can park in the cul de sac. Oh. And put up a no parking sign and they're still gonna park and they're gonna you're gonna have probably more yeah. locals down there saying on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I can't get my own driveway or my kids mm -hmm. can't even go out and play. You know, That's true. That's a lot of so senior you know, so you have, you have to be cautious of people where this park is. Them cul de have private drives anyway, though. They're not allowed in there. We don't allow them. No, but the no, people no, that no, the park are not going to stop people from parking right. down on them, though. Yeah, sure. Park, I when they got all the only have to walk there. Right. But I tell, yeah. I tell you what, if you get it in there yeah. and if somebody puts a ticket on them, they, they'll know yeah. they can't park there. Yeah. It doesn't Rochester. There's, there's facilities that you can't go and park. Yeah, but what, that. Do, what does that mean? Who's going to call it in and are the cops going to do it? You, it used to be here on 7th Street when the fair was. There's no parking signs. The cops drive on past. People park there. you got to get your cops to give them a ticket then. If there's no parking signs mm -hmm. or something. And they can't just drive on past and ignore it. That's one thing. And I, I do say that we got to figure something out. But yeah, the parking is a problem because I know I live up off in 7th Northeast and when they had the races, on Sunday nights, it was awful. We couldn't come to 7th Street. We'd have to come turn down here and go up mm -hmm. because you couldn't get up there to start the street because the pit road was there. Yeah. <coughs> They're going to have problems here, too, if they put it in here. Oh, they're going to have worse problems here. In the school, you, you have more outlets at the school and you still have problems. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. They come up fifth from the school. It's like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Terrible. They come zooming up there. Well, and they don't this stop about this when the mail comes. They used to when Jesse lived there at the corner. Yeah, the yeah. No. Yeah. I know, you can already tell when school's out. It's yeah. like, oh, school's out. I hear the kids yeah. zooming out there. I have no problem with a couple fields going in, but not. Not the whole entire thing. Right. I think we need to just, yeah, put it on an agenda next time and we just talk about a park review. what we're going to do with it, yeah. I was it, was it? Okay. Right I think they're, you know, <laughs> you, should, <laughs> you have to laugh. should see where their numbers are. Their, their best thing is probably put in the little fields. The little ones? Mm -hmm. the little and stay fields. up to the school. For because me. that's where you get all your numbers or something, mm -hmm. the little ones. <coughs> they're looking to keep fall right. ball going while school's on, though. Yeah, they, yeah. And that's, that's the crushing. Little, not for the big ones, though. I, well, you're talking 10 or 12. When you're 10 or 12, you're not playing for school. That's true. You know, you're still. Yeah. They 
Yeah. Fall, yeah. fall, they didn't have a little ones plan. I mean, they said they didn't open it up for pre. They had the, the middle aged ones plan instead. Yeah. More competitive. The little ones get the summer. Said. I mean, I guess they have to. Big ones get the summer and fall. Because yeah. six would fit where two are. You know, six is a little one would fit where two would fit where that. But we have to decide is that what we want? Yeah. There. We'll have to do that. I think uh, for the fall, it's, I don't know. Well, if they don't have their goal posts and all that right. kind of stuff either, we haven't got money in our budget for that this year. Well, going back to more what Greg said, too, you're trying to make these parks, you know, for that area of town, and that's what a park is supposed for. That's why they make people put in parks when they have a development. They make the developer give up some land for a park there and that's for that area <coughs> more or less you know to keep it your neighbor. <coughs> so when Trying you do something like that parking lot why wouldn't you put up a couple of hoops and have some paint there but yet on an overflow deal they'd still have the room to park on it you wouldn't have basketball that day you know but you'd still have hoops in the neighborhood right. not just south fork didn't have any parks up there I got a couple. I got a couple parks out there. They got playground modulars out there. Um, hey, Ronnie. Before we meet no. next yeah, time, could you come up with some kind of a development plan for that? Uh, a tentative development plan? Well, we have that already set set up already. Yeah, but now we've got these additional inputs, mm -hmm. and we have to prioritize what we want to do. Uh, it doesn't sound like we've got any money available for long-range planning, so we're going to have to wing it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I think the city ought to ought to know that what we're getting hit with here. Everybody's got an idea of how to utilize that, but how do we best do it? No matter what, we're going to make somebody unhappy right. and somebody yeah. happy. But But you, you're the one that's got the expertise and the experience in this area, not not the rest of us. Well, I, I can understand. I, don't, I think there's just maybe one too many fields here, at least one. Because I actually told him in the beginning not to go anything east of the island, and all of a sudden we'll put the small ones uh, on, the, on the east side of that. And now he's got to go for Is that why they have their, that's why well, they yeah, if you're going to do it, yeah. go bigger or go home. Yeah. We're either going to get them all or we're not going to get any of them. Yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> actually they're, they're, they're giving you a, here's a full footprint. Mm -hmm. And from there, you know, they'll they're come back. They'll take probably what they can. They're probably expecting us yeah. to, you know, to cut it. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. as everybody, they'll we'll have to. to. Especially if you have told them that. Yep, I told them that. And I, I didn't want anything east of the island because that's where our Frisbee golf course is going. So with them small ones, and they could probably get <laughs> three of these U10 fields where the two are and turn another one in between the island going south. Right. And you might have to be happy with that. That's it. Now, are these soccer fields multi-use type thing? They'll just be soccer fields. They'll be used all the time. All like for the for soccer or season. for whatever. Mm -hmm. what, what are, what are we going to have up at the, uh, I call it the library park, but I know it's got a different name. GI yeah. yeah. park. Yeah. Would that be uh, something we could utilize for soccer fields? Well, first of all, that <laughs> field, that's still an issue of what's going to go in there, yes, because uh, the school district's got a whole completely different idea of what wants to go in there. Because first of school all, district? the school mm -hmm. district gave that land to the city. That was the old high school football oh, field for Castle and High School. Oh. And in that agreement and on that contract it says that that has to be a recreational use area no matter what otherwise the school can take the property back over. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't a soccer field work? Wouldn't that qualify? That's why we got the, the semi-small baseball field oh. to cover that. Oh it's a political solution. But now what the school district wants to see there, get a load of this, they want to see tennis courts there. Oh my god. And they're going to maintain them? Pay for it? Yeah, they gonna pay for it. No, that's right the now. way. That's the way Matuska told me. Uh, and convert them into tennis, tennis courts. Tennis, or tennis what? courts, and then have pickleball courts with them, because 
pickleball was getting to be the number one <coughs> number one sport in in, in USA. For what, age, for what age group? Older people. There you uh, my age group. Yeah. 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 Not not <laughs> for. But it is. <laughs> you, you look at not the saying the that you look at the we don't build a park for. The elderly. But adult basketball, tiny team baseball. You'll be there someday. You're getting more adults, more people involved in playing tennis and playing pickleball and stuff. Adult softball, that's losing. I, I, I see mm -hmm. probably in 10 years, you don't have adult softball here, maybe in town, maybe no more. Could be a, could be a point. Well, and Chuck, when you were on the mm -hmm. board, yeah. you know, we talked about pickleball quite a bit. Yeah, we and that the library area would be a good mm -hmm. little area for exactly. that. Exactly. So I, I'm not saying that That's not it wouldn't be a, a bad spot to have a no. tennis court and a pickleball court. Yeah. But at whose expense at that point? The school can say all they want, but who's going right. well, to where's the money come from? Right. If the school wants it back, let them have it. They can fix what they need and to they fix. Can't, they can't do that no more. We built the library on that land. Well, the section that you're talking. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to get the full section back, obviously. Uh, I don't think that's part of it. <coughs> Did we do a yeah, but I don't think it's part of the contract for them to be determined what goes on want. either. Agreed upon. But he always throws that out there on the joint ventures with the, the superintendent. But, uh, yeah, I can't imagine what the mm -hmm. price that it gets for them. A little, a little, a little, 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 little you didn't know that. Baseball diamond barrel. I'd heard mm -hmm. way back when. The soccer field was much bigger than that. Mm -hmm. about them being over there. When, I mean, the, before the library even got started. I think next wider. month we bring this back with I the agree. plans that we had before. Uh, and take another look. And I yeah. think oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm still going to get a hold of Dave and I'm still going to go <laughs> down there and I'm going to tell him that he can't have anything on either side of the island. I'm sorry, that's just the way it's going to be. Wonderful. Do I I'm telling Dave on the east side of the island there cannot be no fields. Yep. Period. Right. I told him that in the beginning and I still want to hold that because we have plans for that side. I'm sorry what we do. We have right. I, I think we have plans for the west side of the parking lot too. I think we need to keep that area yeah. for what we have planned for. Mm -hmm. yep. That is the best location of that park right there. Yep. Yeah. And he can either put two in there or six little ones, but right there's he had the line. I had the line. He had the line there. That's what I told him. Yeah. Tell him to regroup. Yeah. Tell him to come and back with a new one. If he one needs two, if he needs, and if he needs two large fields, send them up to the northwest. Which is where the football field sits, right? Yep. And that's why, I mean, that's Prairie View. It's Prairie View. <coughs> that's a soccer mm -hmm. complex, and it's uh, you can get two regulation fields almost close side by side. You put, you put three fields down at Lions Park, and the older kids go play up in the northwest. Yeah, when we played, the, the fields were going east west. East and west, yep. We got two fields. Now, what does that do with the football up there? That's in the fall. Then, then that but they, they, they talk about soccer in the fall as well. So mm -hmm. then just for the little fields. So now they got to work the no, difference up just between for the soccer the and bigger football. field, not the little fields. Oh. Fall wasn't for the younger no. children. Fall was for the bigger kids. Yeah, that was for competitive. So if you go to Prairie View up yeah. there and you put softball slash yeah, football, the field. they're going to have to work their schedules out based on or dates the, of or the these years. Yeah, or the football people move down yeah. to Not Lions Park. Yeah. In the fall. How many fields are the football ones? Because you got the football complex next to North. They just use it as a practice field. They don't have yeah, to. I don't think it's a practice. It's just mowed, isn't it? They mow in lines every now and again. You I don't think they can. You also have that at the North Park, though, right? Right. Because that's actually a football um, field we, there. We, yeah, the football field on Saturday, we keep that. We don't allow anybody on that field at all. That's a game field for Saturday with other towns coming in and stuff. And I don't even like the softball no. players playing on it because it is. They get soccer on it. It's going to get matted down. Yeah. And if they play the day no before the game, it, it, it would be bad. Yeah. So, but I agree. We could we could utilize that, Greg. We could utilize that the football. I know the people put a shed. The football people put a shed with all their practice equipment up there at that um, up at that Northwest Park, uh, Prairie, View. Prairie View Park. But that doesn't mean that that shed can't be moved and put back down to Lions Park, and they can utilize the practice fields and have practice there in the fall. It's an open green space. That's all they need. No problem.
problem because the little kids are, are done. The bigger kids can then go up and utilize the soccer field and the ball up there. It could be done. Yeah, they're going to have to move around. Yep. Unfortunately, you know, nothing against soccer or having, you know, three or four fields here, but to have them all here? No, I don't think it's feasible. Gonna gobble up the park. Yeah, but it could be done. Oh, it could be. I mean, I mean not, not, but I'm saying how we utilize both facilities. Let's say we didn't put the skate park in or we didn't put the, the modular in. Maybe we should have talked about that before all that got moved in. Because then it could have been. Yeah, but that that was part of the whole. Oh, that was the whole swap. I know. I know all about the swap. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. And we're still behind. Right. Right. But it could be done. Though. What I'll do is I'll just meet with Dave. I'll tell him that we can't have anything on the east side of the island. Okay. And come up with a new plan, and then I will have to get a hold of KMU football and talk to them guys, and we'll see what we can come up with. Where would they be playing football then in, that, in this Lions Park? They just, practice. Just, practice. Just, just practice. Just practice. On the soccer field. On the soccer field. Okay. Yep. And the right. games will still be up yep. there. And the, yep. So in essence, we're letting the soccer have two adult size. No, the youth field would be down in here, the Lions Park, and the two adult size would be up at yep. Prairie View at the Northwest. Yep. With possibly one... Like maybe one, one of maybe one other one middle field. size field there. Yep, something. one middle size field if it can fit. Right. And I think <coughs> if we come back next month with here's our layout. Here's where these would go. We could lay it, you know, lay them on top of you and really get them to fit and see if that would work. But because I think the, lo the the people up in Northwest, Chuck, you were up there. That's not a real bad field up there. No, it's not. But you're, you're getting back into the parking issue again because everybody's parking up along the streets. Yeah, and we've got that parking lot slated, you know, and we just haven't graveled it. That's off 14th there. That's all parking. That's supposed to be a parking lot up there. And we just have well, then the it. council has to get that moving. Get yeah. that parking lot there. Because if they're, if these guys are going to also host don't know anybody tournaments, gravel, do you? <laughs> you know, they're going to need a parking lot. And they'd have their <coughs> soccer, they'd have their soccer goals there. And yeah. So, the, so then, and again, you don't want to create a problem for the, the locals up there that live there, and then they're all parking in front of my streets and throwing their trash in my yard and... We got that everywhere though. We got that everywhere. I mean, uh, we were just at Northeast tonight at a game and you you get about 12 to 14 cars in the parking lot and everybody else is up 11 to 7. Yeah. So we don't have the room for, we have a field here or we have a soccer field there. We don't have enough room to put a full size parking lot in and a soccer field or a softball field. Right. That's our problem. Unless you want to build like over in Byron, 27 acres. Well, no. Nah. <laughs> it's going to have to happen. That's what they spent. I went over and talked. $170,000 they bought the land for. And the city did not go out and referend for it. They used all bonds, $2.2 million in bonds, to build that facility. <coughs> the taxpayers and everybody are <coughs> saying it. Council and the park board decided this is what they're going to do, and so they spent about 2.5 million on that 27 acres. Why don't, why, why don't we lease space from them? <laughs> you know, uh, well, that's, what, that's what's going to happen here as soon as that opens up. They said they're going to they're going to fee uh, take care of their programs first. They're actually going to go out and hire a park and rec guy. They're going to actually end up doing kind of similar to what we're and then they're possibly looking at down the road. Maybe building the aquatic center too. Yep. And that'll go for a referendum. So, but I did meet with the mayor over there and the guy who was spearheaded the whole thing. And it's a beautiful facility. It's going to be. Oh, it'll be gorgeous. It's going to bring a lot of money, <coughs> especially mm -hmm. on that side of town. Look what else is over there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That'll work. But 27 mm -hmm. acres they needed. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have their good neighbor days down there. It's not going to yeah. be at the fire hall anymore. It's going to be all in this huge, it's a humongous parking lot. It's just huge. And they're going to have, they put all electrical in there for the vendors. They all pre-planned it pretty good. Well, I don't think Rochester has, on Highway 14 East, I don't think that's nowhere near 20, you know, 27 acres, but they got four or five good fields there mm -hmm. and a decent sized parking lot. Mm -hmm. Same, a lot of that was donated. Yep. We don't have that uh, luxury.
No. <laughs> no, they don't want to donate. They want to but donate. It's good. Mm -hmm. Could you yeah. imagine yeah. the city going on that? 27 acres for $171,000? John Highway 14. RCTC uh, and Eagle Bowl. You know what I'm saying? At least I know where my tax money went. Let's think of that, and then, and then, then not all have all a referendum on it. <coughs> <coughs> and I don't put a facility like that, and they just use bonds. Yeah. Pay for That's it. what those lights are for when you see one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I have no clue. Well, that's all it's in the right now. It's just white. Yeah, that's County Speedway. Are they having races this year? I think so. Yeah. They're going to have a couple. I'll just throw something out here. <laughs> In my former life, I was an investment counselor. And right now, we're seeing the most reasonable interest rates and the most reasonable bond rates that I've seen in my entire life. Okay, so if you're going to borrow money to build facilities, why not do it when it's cheap? Mm -hmm. I would guess uh, we could do municipal, municipal bonds with about two or three quarter Not this year, we can't. I can't either. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just a thought. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're all bonded out for this year. Yep. Well, okay, let's do this. Let's um, talk about it next week. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. Next, next month, bring it back. Yep. Next month, we're going to have week meeting, weekly updates. So next month, bring back our original plan, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. See how we can maybe get a few of these to work. Mm -hmm. Talk about the Prairie Meadows Park. See this yeah. here as an option. Okay. Um, but I think we still got to stay true to ourselves on, you know, the reason we're putting these parks mm -hmm. uh, yeah. in these communities and for what reason and what these people in that part of the area of town would like to see. We have yeah. to exactly. hate to say a lot of things were yeah, promised at this park that really haven't come through. Right. Yet. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And if you put it, yeah. yeah, if you put soccer there. And not uh, other things that are roughly yeah. Yeah. So what do I tell the Lions? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing <laughs> yet. <laughs> we're coming up with plans. We're working on it, man. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, the nice thing about a soccer field, it's a nice flat turf that you can do a lot with when you need to build something. So there's nothing saying it's it's just on that. It's, really it's, it's not like you put up a building and have to tear a building down. You're just preparing the property, and then since nothing's being used on it, let's let the kids play on it. So I well, said it, it, it might be a good temporary fix for a couple, three, four, or five years. But when we finally get in the CIP plan, okay, now we're going to be able to put these modulars in, or the courts, or whatever we got to do. One field comes out, or this part comes out. So they're going to have to make plans for future field somewhere with someone, whether it's a school, whether it's another developer, whether it's somebody goes out and privately buys some land, says here's some land for a, a complex. You know, it's so far into the future that you can't judge it even year by year or so. But yeah. That's why we need planning. So yeah. we're not trying to put eight fields in an area that you know is not big enough. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Okay. All right. Go. All right. We'll move on to uh, Green Step. Right? Sure. Okay. All right. You got one minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what, though? This isn't going to cost you any money. It's going to cost you some time to listen to that. Okay. All right. Our Green Step project. Um, <coughs> comprehensive plan. I was at the committee meeting yesterday for a comprehensive plan. And, and uh, things like what you're talking about, let's this is our plan for the parks. You get something like that, like a road map, a map or something drawn out and give it and get that into the comprehensive plan. You know, that would really help out a lot of things. And I think Brandon's going to work with you on that. Make a map for that. So, okay, then with that. Our Green Step project. I don't know if you guys remember me talking about this maybe a couple years back. Probably not, because we never really... But really yeah, but the, the Green Step program involved, evolved out of a, a uh, report to the 2009 le legislator and was created by numerous state agencies and other groups that support the impl implementation of 28 best practices which focus on cost savings, energy use reduction. Because city populations are 
differing in size and diversity, there is no one set of process steps. Many of the suggested steps may fit well in existing plans, like our comprehensive plan, and efforts already initiated by city council. Caston is essentially already on this path, pursuing efforts to become more efficient and economically in operation. Although there are many suggestions which could create a cost <coughs> to the city, there are, there are actions the city can take that involve just time and talent. So there's really no money involved right now. We got our first Green Step Award back in 2011. And what that is is May 1st, we actually, we, Nancy Zagorski, Nancy Z, yeah, she's my partner in this. And we met with a Green Step official on May 1st, and we actually sat down and said, what in the world do we really need to get to our step three? And she actually gave us a roadmap. Step one involved um, getting some of our pra one practice out of all six of these. We just need to get one done, get one step done, and I'll, I'll go over this real quick. Step two <coughs> included getting two of these done. Step three includes getting three of them done, but they're really, really more detailed than what it is. So, um, this thing is broken down into buildings for one of the areas, uh, land use for another, transportation, environmental management, and economic and commercial development. We have completed our buildings portion of it. And we have completed our transportation portion of it. But what we really want to focus on right now is our land use one, environmental management. And parks and trails is a big part of this, really big part. And with Ronnie going to work with the, the city engineer there and get that map laid out for your future plans and for the city's future plans for parks and everything, that's just going to be wonderful. Check. Okay. We've got to get at least three of these areas done. So what I've come up here with is just some simple questions that I just wanted to ask the, your park board members because these are questions I got out of the step-by-step the -step process here. And they might be really simple, and I think uh, I, I know the answer to a couple of them, but, and then some of them might be a couple of tough, tough ones. But are there any future projects that will include the use of solar power in the park system? I mean, is there... Well, you got solar in the water aquatic. <laughs> you got on the aquatic center, how about... The ice arena, uh, yep. Yep. Um, yep. Yeah. you know, anything like that. So, as you're thinking about okay. what you're doing, future you know, use, future use, use like that. How, how big of solar panels are we talking? I mean, are we talking? You can talk. We're running a light, running. I mean, street like light. Cast and shines or solar power? Are they not in and yep. out of town? I you mean, how, how yep. big of unit are you talking? Just solar itself. Okay. Okay. Anything, anything solar. Anything, solar. anything can anything can qualify. <coughs> okay, yeah, we got this plan. All our street signs are are lit. They're solar. Cool. Check. Right. Um, How about your street lights in the park? Street lights. Your street light in one of the park there. Yep. I mean that all LED. I don't. You know, I, does LED qualify? LED anything? qualifies. Okay. Things like that. Yep. Yeah. The lights, the dark sky lights, they put in. 16th Street when they replaced the bridge. Yep. Beautiful. Any plans for lighting on the trail going to the you know the Sunrise Trail? Any lighting there? Things like that. Yep. That that too could be solar. I mean, yep. Solar operated things. You know, things that will help ca uh, cut down the uh, use of electricity and things like that. So, all right. In the future, is there a plan in place to replace all the lighting that we just did that one? for LEDs. Are there future plans for some kind for a trail system that will be connected to the existing ones? Yes. Part of this trail, part of this thing is exercise, keeping people fit, uh, get them motivated, get them moving out and everything else like that. So something like that. I'm sure that's probably going to be on the... It's on the sheet. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Okay. 
Is there a m minimum of 20% land that has been dedicated for the parks and recreation areas for the entire area of the city of Cassis? So if you took the entire city acreage, mm -hmm. this 20% of that is dedicated to parks or well, a little bit two, more? There's two, two spots that you could probably say that North Park and Lions Park. I was going to say, if we didn't have Lions Park, I would say no. Yeah, but see, 21, there's 21 acres up at North Park probably roughly just a little over 17 acres of lions. So you're looking at probably, you know, close to 40, 40 acres. Any idea how big the city is, acreage-wise? Well, that's a good trivia question. Good yeah. question, yeah. I don't kidding. know, but I would say okay. the two parks are at least, but I think totally, Yeah. I think totally we got close to 70 acres of parks. Okay. Okay. Mm. Good, good, good then. <coughs> okay. You got Diamond Park, you got the Northwest, mm -hmm. you got the and it is man is it, it is mandatory for a new developer to come in and he's got to leave green space for the parks. Is there any particular size that he has to leave for uh, the developer? What's that? As the developer comes in, is there any particular size he has to leave for the green space? Um, basically, the all park? they do when a developer comes in, all they do is look at what they have to give as far as uh, uh, parkland. So what okay. they need is it's actually they have to give us a thousand dollars per acre per development. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which isn't and no, I thought it's not even a thousand more Nancy. You can't even get a parking lot down for that. Nancy okay. corrected me the other day. I said that at that comprehensive meeting and she said it's like eight hundred and fifty bucks now okay. per acre. That should be that should only that be revised. That should only be revised. Yeah, it says a thousand, it went to like eight fifty or eight eighty or something. Land went up, but we get left. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, that's but, that's that's awesome. but there is, but there is. <laughs> the yeah, they can't build they, it. They yeah. have to do it. There's yep, a, they have there's to do it. Yep. Formula for it, so yep. that's good. Mm -hmm. Great. Yep. Mm -hmm. Probably plus donate the land too, though, right? Right. Yep. And you know, no, we, we pay for the we land. We pay for the land now. And it's usually on the bell pole. Yeah. On the bell pole. Yeah. Yes. So so we get the wetlands yeah. that nobody wants that. to build a house. Or more around. And then they mm. put that well, to the big ad or something. No, that's fine. Right. 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 When Blaine went in there, we had to pay for that land. Yeah. It was 140, something like that, 140 some thousand or something. How many acres? Um, that land right there was 4.3. See, and so then we, we should got an additional well, the got for to the north, another 3.3. <laughs> so it was a total of close to seven acres, but we haven't bought Wally Mike. <coughs> okay. mm -hmm. That's basically what it was. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, is it possible to get every residence within a half mile of some kind of park area or the city in, in the city of Cassin? Yes. Okay. I think, so we're you think wherever I think we've touched base on northeast, northwest, um, north, south. The only thing I'd probably worry about, well, you know, if the city keeps moving to the south down the road in the yeah, future, the future. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, that would be a question. But we still own 55 acres at the cemetery, mm -hmm. you know, wherever it could. And Teresa even talked cemetery. about that possibly converting yeah. that area, maybe even into a park okay. down the road. Mm -hmm. So if for for the for your plan to be drawn with with Brandon there, would you would you possibly put that in there? Or no. Yep. There's yep. There's and we actually there. put that that cemetery in. As a green park space. Okay. So that's future. Cool. Yep. <coughs> that's <coughs> good. All right. <laughs> okay. So, um, can we consider our yearly community cleanup? In your opinion, can we consider our, our yearly community cleanup a good land stewardship? Yeah. If we do it every year, if we do it, you know. I don't see why not. You're cleaning up. Well, I, I think uh, our spring our spring cleanup really counts for that citywide. Number one, we have. Oh, so now year. we have. Yeah, you're right. We have two of them because we we've got the citywide cleanup, and then we've got the also the, the stuff you guys do. It's only branches now. It's only branches. We don't do oh. bags, but it's still. But it's still okay. I show the bags. All right. So I'll just. Yeah. <laughs> I put the tires so in between them. Be, <laughs> it could be two. Of them. Could be two of them. We could possibly have two of them. Okay. I'll touch on that one. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Okay, so on our last one here, are there any, yeah, we know we have the Tree Boulevard Planning um, program. program, but is there any other programs to say, like, uh, if the high school <coughs> would come up to the board and say, hey, you know, we, we want to plant some trees, you got some area with that we could plant them in, is, is there anything established for somebody to volunteer to come up and say, hey, need some help planting trees, we got a group of people here who want to help well, out? We have Arbor Day celebration. Right. 
I don't think we've got anything down to where mm -hmm. people are coming to say, I want to no. put trees mm -hmm. on the city right. property. No. I can see it be the reverse, saying, yeah. what did the city do for a private property for our program? But we've had a couple people come to you for the North Park, though, haven't you? We've had it for the, the North Park, and we even had it, yeah, we don't do that anymore, Chuck, to be okay. honest with you. Um, Barry Devil used to kind of run that all the time by me. You know, somebody died, somebody wanted to put a tree in the park, somebody oh, wanted cool. to do this, whatever. Mm -hmm. It got to the point that is that, like, where do we do it here? Then they don't mm -hmm. want it there, and they want it in this park, and it got to be the point, so we didn't do that. But I think the only thing is, as far as the celebration, where trees do get planted, we have to go back to our Arbor Day field, Arbor Day. where the lines, I know, in the last so many years, they've done that. Um, but that doesn't mean that a certain group could do it. Okay. The Girl Scouts could do it, Boy Scouts could do it, Lions could be involved in it. We could have multiple units do that Arbor Day celebration. So Arbor Day, I'll just have to put down Arbor Day. Just put Arbor Day yeah. with, with our, with our own. I don't think we've had anybody come forward and say, you know, on Arbor Day, saying, I'd like to also donate five trees to put somewhere. No. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe we haven't opened it yeah, up to that. The Girl Scouts no. take care of our flower planet every yep. year up the North Park. That's right. Okay. The Girl Scouts take care of that. They, they donate their time mm -hmm. to clean that out, and we do all that. So there's another okay. group there. Okay. All right. So that's great. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's basically all I got. But, you know, with the comprehensive planning coming up and everything, if you guys have any questions or anything that you want to try and see in the comprehensive plan, relay it to him and he'll relay it to uh, Nancy or myself or something. And, and we're meeting again in July 5th. Okay. For and that comprehensive meeting. plan should be done next year. February. Totally. In February. Totally February. Yep. So. And it really has a lot to do with the parks and trails and yeah. future future look like that. So you guys are going to play a big part in that. Really, really huge. So, anyways, well, that's the Green Step thing. We're working on it. We'll, we'll we probably won't be able to get anything done until next July because we have to have certain steps done in a certain period of time. And just getting getting the information that we got on May first really, really helped out. And uh, um, our comprehensive plan is a big thing, and uh, everything else you guys do is really huge for this. So, any solar ideas, anything that comes up, you know, feel free to just wing it on myself or Nancy or Ron or or Teresa or something, and we, maybe we can look into it and see what it is. Well, I got one thing noted here, and I can either mention that to you or Ron both, but it's kind of a correspondence, but I'll mention it. Same with the council. Can the main street lighting? be converted to LED lighting. Because when they did the Main Street here eight, nine years ago, with all that, you know, going up from the stoplights up to mm -hmm. fifth or whatever. That is um, all LED. That is LED? Uh, I believe LED. everything in town is LED. LED. Is that, okay, I didn't know if that was actually LED at that time yeah. or? Yeah, that's LED. It just seems like they should be brighter. Yeah, but no, uh, that's LED and they got rid of that, what do they use, that orange, what do they used to call that? Um, Incandescent. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm not talking to I'm not talking to Christmas lights. Though. No, no. So that's it's actually LED light. Yep, seems like LED. Because I drive home there every night. And yeah. It seems we like have that LED should be LED lighting yeah, around our be whole brighter, aquatic center. That's all LED. Yeah, I know lighting. that. Yeah. Yeah. So if you see the 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 white, the white type. Chris White. Lighting, yeah, the daylight. Yeah, that's LED. They've been retrofitting a lot of that stuff. I mean, even if that wasn't, the other ones they have been. Right. Yeah, they've been all okay. okay. Yeah. I didn't know that was all. Yeah. Switch LED. Yeah. It just seems like it should be brighter, crisper, wider. I think the biggest thing is that the poles are a little lower. And that's that's what you're that's what you're not seeing. If the, if the lighting is low, like Todd said, I mm -hmm. wish they would have been a little bit higher. Then you'd probably get more of a brighter part of it. But you just bigger span down your mm -hmm. your spread. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and and just another quick note, um, the dark sky lighting. We just came back from Dominican Republic, and fortunately, my flight was at night. And as we were coming over the land and everything, the sky was beautifully clear in that. But I could tell which highways or which areas were using the dark sky lighting compared to the other lighting, because it all just goes down. You can see a really, really huge difference in that. So in the future, if you're looking at any changing any lights in the park or anything, you might want to look into something like that. Okay. But it really makes a huge difference, you yep. know, yes. for energy and things like that. All right. Well, thanks for your time, guys. Appreciate yep. it. Thanks, Charlie. Mm -hmm. Charlie, we made you wait. No, that's <laughs> fine. I just, I really enjoy listening to this. I mean, it's like, okay. Do you miss but us? <laughs> I do. I really do. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, Chuck. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Chuck.
All right, down to camp. Quick question. You, yeah. get, you get number three. I, I imagine you get a stack of three. Yeah. yeah. So how far can you go on that? Uh, third is the, uh, the top level right now. Okay. But they are working on another one, and I can't even imagine what that's going to be. Because a lot of the things, because we're so small, I mean, they, they throw in bus routes and they'll throw oh, in geez. things like that for the big C subways. So and should probably be pretty happy with what we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, for being a small town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So once that's we get to job. number three, it'll be great. Mm -hmm. so Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Aquatic Center update here quick. We'll be done here out in 10 minutes here. Um, update is, is that our pool water is in, if anybody hasn't drove by. Um, Corey um, did an excellent job on his own. He pretty much did a lot of it all on his own with the help of uh, Mark, um, our new part-timer. He helped him a lot. Um, got it all cleaned out, got the water in, got the heater. We had to uh, do some uh, rework of some uh, piping on our heater, our lower heater of our aquatic center of our uh, lap pool, had uh, Superior Plumbing come in and do that. I haven't seen a bill on that, but I'm sure it's going to be a little expensive, but um, had that taken care of. We had a couple weeks um, on some piping. We had a pressure valve uh, blow off at one of our slides. we got to replace that. i got to get down to Roster and get that done. Um, our grates. Um, our drain grates, whatever, um, are going to come due next year, and they're roughly each grade around $300 a grade, and we got 18 of them. So we're looking at a pretty good expense to get them repaired every five years. Um, we have to redo them for that Abigail Tyler Act. Mm -hmm. um, so that that will be an expense. Um, we'll have to budget for that here coming up. Um, we have. Um, Everything else I think looks really good. We didn't have any more cracks in our uh, in our decking, which is great. Um, going on its fifth year here now, um, so that's good. I got Sheldon um, from uh, Torosin Stone Stone. from Stone by Stone coming in. Uh, we're going to peel up all the caulk that was put in around our, our uh, foundation of our of our <coughs> building and the deck, and have that all redone. Um, that is cracked don't want to get moisture in between the building and the deck and get water underneath the deck to start even. So that'll be done. Uh, we ordered special. What they use them? Is in bulk? Yep. Is it flowable? Yep. Okay. So that'll all be taken. I actually, I got him coming in here in another week here, or sometime maybe early next week to get that done. Um, as far as uh, as far as the pool goes, am I ordering food and uh, pop and all that stuff tomorrow. All that should be delivered in uh, by Friday. Pop come next Tuesday. Um, we have a lifeguard class going to be starting on the 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. Uh, let's see, Wednesday through Sunday. We have, uh, I think, three people taking the class. Um, um, we got um, two of our staff, LGIs, uh, Tim Chosish is uh, Kids, actually, Abby Chosis and Brady Chosis are uh, certified to take that. <coughs> Plus, they can reteach our recertification. That'll be taking taking place also probably in the first week here in June to get the kids recertified that need to be recertified as lifeguards. Um, we also have an MMUA um, yearly safety thing um, that's all set up for the second of June out to our city shop area where all. 45 or 50 of the kids, whatever, go through uh, an hour and a half training um, between uh, heat, stroke, and uh, um, you name it. Mark goes through everything, so it's a nice, it's a good program um, that gets done every year. We have a meeting this Saturday uh, with all the lifeguards and all the staff. I do at 10 o'clock up to the pavilion uh, to go through things, go through the handbook which Jan has got done. Um, go through all that stuff. That will take place this Saturday. Uh, Jan had a uh, Jen, Jennifer uh, come down from our software program and um, had a couple of our people today uh, working with her, putting in registrations um, in our computer system, um, getting that kind of up to date and getting that all taken care of, um, which um, it's a <coughs> continuous job and I know Jan does a great job on that and uh, I thank her for that. She does a great job making sure that gets all put in. 
Um, uh, our pool does open up next Saturday um, on the 26th, 7th. Um, it'll open up on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, then we'll close down again um, until that following Saturday on June 3rd, actually be the, the start date um, of us opening up um, for good for the summer. Um, but as far as the Aquatic Center, um, it would be nice to pick up a few more lifeguards. Um, so um, if you know of anybody that really would want to become a lifeguard, um, we are going to have the class starting next Wednesday. They still have time to sign up. So if you do know of anybody, um, just to have them get a hold of me so we can get that going. What's the age limit? What Got to be 15. 15. Got to be 15. Okay. Yep. Okay. But other than that, I have to say we got all the awnings up. We got uh, everything pretty much all <coughs> set, and uh, I'm really happy. And we just got a few little leaks to take care of in the in the showers, um, and we should have everything ready to go. So um, next year too, besides the grates, we have to change our sand and our filters. Um, I'll probably have Thatcher come up and do that. Um, our big uh, sand filters for uh, taking care of that. Got to do that every five years too. So. Uh, our backflow preventer valve was inspected by Superior. That everything worked out fine there. Um, found out that they said that we had to rebuild it every five years and have it redone. Now we don't really legally have to do. We just have to rebuild it if something goes wrong with it. So they changed that to state level bit on that. So that was kind of nice. Jan got our licenses. Um, they're all set to go for Aquatic Center and the ball field concession. And uh, um, suits and uh, swimsuits and all the other stuff. The kids are doing that online and getting that all taken care of for their stuff. So other than that, it's been great. Okay. It's been great. Any questions on the Aquatic Center? Okay. All right. Going to old business. Uh, old business. I thought maybe I'd let uh, give some update how that all went. Well, I think uh, it was great to have the Lions Club come out. If they wouldn't have been there, we wouldn't have had hardly anybody. Um, we had a few uh, students from FCCLA. We had one city council member, and Chris Cherry is Lions Club, but he's also Park Board and I. Okay. Um, we uh, split up, did the dump road. Um, the FCCLA did up there along Quick Trip, and um, the rest of us went out uh, 7th and picked up. and. Uh, then we went to Lions Park. Lions Park we found was the dirtiest. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was surprising. You could come way back here. Um, there was lots of stuff there to pick up, but okay. otherwise it was Good. pretty decent. We were kind of impressed as to how clean it really was. Okay. And what I'd like to see more of a turnout. Yeah. I think we need to, to get, get it promoted. I took some up to, you know, Erdman's and asked them to put them in bags, and I don't know if it got done. But uh, I did do that and stuck up some signs and. Well, I think you guys put everything up there at the park and it was fine. I mean, everything worked out fine that way. Um, I know the vest got a little wet because it rained that night. Yeah. But we dried them out, so that's no big deal. But um, the garbage, everything was just fine. We got it all the way. But thank you guys for doing all that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions else on that? Thanks, Terry, for you guys to do all your effort and help. Uh, they're willing to do that yeah. on an annual basis. Yeah. And I think you'll finally find, you know, if it's not the Lions, maybe another club will come up and eventually, hopefully adapt as you get the word out or, you know, you grab it or they say, hey, if you'd like to help with something, here's what could be done. Or <coughs> doesn't the school have a pro I'm program? Saying we, to, we probably need to push at school level. You're not going to get parents. Uh, I, w I work a lot of weekends. Not saying I can't come out. We were gone that weekend, but that's not my first priority. I hate I hate to be that way. Yeah. When I get if I get a day off and it has to, happens to be that day, yeah, yeah I go to pick up trash. You got it. It's not priority either, but I did it. Yeah, and, well, you know. and we say thank you, and you want to do this, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, but I think that we need to get more people involved. Yeah. I, I do think school kids need more to get more involved. And a a quick suggestion trip. I would recommend for next year that we actually send an email to each of the coaches at the high school because every coach out there has community service requirements for his participants and I trade with the scouts too yeah and the, and the FCLA kids that they just eat that up 
So, you know, I mean, it's shame on us if we don't involve them because that's our future. Scouts are a little different because they're a, lot, they're a, little, a younger group. I tried, yeah, like Boy so. Scouts and stuff. I never heard from them, but I did hear from the one, and they were already doing the planter up there. Yep. Um, they were doing an Arbor Day weekend, so it was the weekend before. Yep. But uh, she kept in touch with me and said she'd send it out to other, that's you know, good. And that's the idea. And eventually eventually leaders and Eventually it'll, and s you know, hopefully it'll snowball down to a bigger group. Yeah. So. Incidentally, just so you all realize this, at the school, we have a Leo Club, which is actually the FCLA. 65 kids signed up. And I mean, they're all willing to do something. It, the challenge is for us to give them something to do. Something, mm -hmm. something good. So it's now right. begins with another, another group to get in touch with to say, okay, here is the date. Yeah. So, and, th and then they're following through. So. That was FCCLA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did contact them. Yeah, they have a few. Oh. Well, there's groups. Sometimes it's better get you know get the right people. And it is spring, so. Tough to pick up other people's trash <laughs> and not get paid to do it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So. All right. Arena update. Um. Holly just uh, said that I uh, kind of wanted to remind uh, everybody that uh, Roster Rec Center is actually closed for the arena part of the ice part uh, coming up here. So we're actually taking on some of their stuff up here at the arena this summer. The ice will not come out. Um, he told us that the department head is not going to take the ice out this year um, for sure. They are going to grind the ice down and re-put the center logo mm -hmm. and get that down deeper. Um, I do know that, and then they'll get it re flooded back and get it all re worked back in. Um, as far as uh, the comprehensive plan for the arena, Holly was there too, and uh, there was things discussed about that. Um, that'll be implemented into the CIP plan too. Um, but uh, as far as the arena goes, I know um, uh, everything is pretty much, um, like Holly said, if they've got it rented out to the max for getting things from the Rochester Rec Center this summer, so um, he hasn't told me anything more about the, the fair board, about they're going to plan on fair yet, so that's still up in grabs, so that, that's a meeting every month that goes from one thing to another, so I'm sure we'll hear <coughs> more about that here in the next month or so, what they're going to do at the fair, again at the arena, but um, and uh, Terry will probably can touch base with Holly and find more out about that too, but do you have any more? Not really. Uh, I, I know uh, a lot of the old time groups are coming out from Rochester out here and enjoying mm -hmm. the utilization of the facility. Yep. And then they're cooking brats after, so yep. it's, it's good socialization for them. Yep. Have they, ever, have they ever ground the middle of the ice down? Um, you get that joint in there. You get a cold joint. You know how do how do they take care of that? Yeah, without actually layering the ice again? itself is not very deep. It's not very thick. You know, it's only about maybe an inch and a half, maybe two okay. inches at the most, whatever. But when they put the logo in, it was kind of a quick job to do it, and they did. They should have really actually. Um, the season was coming up real quick, and they didn't put it down far enough. So there's a there was a section um, this year in the ice where they always kept having to <coughs> take care because it seemed like. You know, whatever push up. push, yeah, the push up. So, so now they're going to just grind that all area down. Um, they'll take a, the ice surface or grind it all down, redo the whole logo, and put it all the ice back over it so it's down where it's supposed to be. And that stuff. And I know that they always worry about there that our ice is not bright, whatever, and that stuff. But um, sometimes it's just, how we said, it's just the way it is. You know, our, our water that we flood with it. It's just the way it goes, you know. So when they resurface it, it looks good, but um, you know, I know there's people ask about why it's more brighter, you know. But it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is what it is. So Do they need to have a, a, a whiter base, like for color-wise? Well, they can. Base? They can. Some arenas they put uh, some whitening agent in the water, water and, stuff. Mm -hmm. and what it does, it reflects the ambient light from the mm -hmm. ball. Mm -hmm. I see. Yep. We're on, we're on a lower budget. We're on a lower budget. <laughs> <laughs> we're all right with that for right now. Yeah. Huh? All right. We're all right with that for right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. For sure. Any correspondence? I just have a couple of things. Um, banners. I know that the Main Street banners for uh, 150 years, that was last year or two years ago now, 
<coughs> uh, the chamber still has the banners that says shop local and oh. the veterans and the eagle stuff, the ones that want to go on the green poles. Uh, I think it'd be a good idea to get those 150 year celebration I down because it's not. Nancy mentioned that to Kathy to bring it up at the chamber meeting. The next okay, because the banners are right in the city, in the, in the chamber office. Yeah, so. and that was on the agenda. Was it? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it'll be on your. And I, and I missed the chamber meeting because it was busy. No, it hasn't been talked about the elect, yet. The elected guys will be the ones that will go in there and, and put them back up yeah. or something. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, speaking of Arbor Day, um, and the tree planting, and just as, as Chuck was talking, would it be something that we could open up to an organization to donate three more trees or donate some trees? Here's a case say it's a, you know, the Lions Club is up there to help take put things in the park. The city picks up three trees. Uh, say the Boy Scouts, let's just take them, or the FCCLA says, we have three trees we'd like to buy and donate to put in the park. If we were to open up our Arbor Day, they not just only put in three trees every year, and there might be a chance that Harbor Hanks says, I'm going to throw in here four trees, put them in the park somewhere. Would that be something as Arbor Day can be able to get more trees into our park? Because it's sometimes it's very limited. And you're saying we need trees, but you know, there's only so much in our budget. You know, consider that for next year, opening it up to if there's an organization that wants to donate trees. Well, they're donating the money for the trees, correct? That's what the lines are. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, even and then Ronnie puts the right type. Right. In that. Yeah. And, that, and that's the type of thing. So like, you might have a chance, you might be able to put 15 trees in that, that Arbor Day. <laughs> that's... But you want that Arbor Day to last for five hours? <laughs> well, but I'd rather have Four 15 trees in <laughs> Especially if... You, and tell and them I'm not saying it's happen every year. Uh, Ronnie, tell, tell them to bring his shovel. That's good loader. Yeah. Tell them to bring his shovel. Yeah. Shovel and money. I've got this. And he wants to just whoop, whoop, back out. I got the dangle to put that in, so... Um, you but donate, that's you donate that, huh? <laughs> well, well, drive up to the park. Eventually, I know that we do need trees in our parks. I understand that, but we're getting to the point that sometimes, you know, we got to see how many trees we really want to put in, into the park too. You know what I'm saying? I know Lions Park. We got it all set up where we need to get trees. Every one you put in there, you got to mow around. Well, you keep in mind of the water. emerald ash borer and those trees that are coming out. But will be coming out. Yeah. So at some but point you may be want more trees to go in, especially behind ball fields and yeah. along soccer fields or whatever it may be. You're going to at some point say, I wish we had more money or more trees, but right. just opening it up. I'm not nope. saying nope. they're going to jump at it like they're not going to go pick up garbage, but <laughs> if somebody says, I got four trees, or you know, can you put four trees in the park somewhere for us? Mm -hmm. Here's the money to do so. I don't think you should turn that down. So. Okay. Okay. And uh, that's the thing I've got for city. The only other thing I've got is, does anybody know what's going next to Hoffs? Are they developing over here to the southeast? Mm -hmm. It's in the home. Oh, is it? It's it's just a sign out there now. Okay, I hadn't seen it, so. Yeah, yeah it mm -hmm. just went out the other day. And it's electric. It's left. It's left owned it. Yeah. Okay. Left owned. He developed it. He sold it. <coughs> off and I, I figured there's a <coughs> developing some. I just don't know what, but that's what the funeral home's going. Is that a dad sign? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Right. I've had many people ask us like that. Okay. Very uh, soon to retire anyway, so he'll build it. Mm -hmm. They they expect it to be open by December, end of December. Yeah. I was talking to him the other day. Okay. Mm. Probably there might be a long way off. <laughs> well, so okay. got plan aren't we all though? <laughs> <laughs> I got to plan my <laughs> day away. I don't know if I Never know. Chop me up, throw me into a shredder, going. and say he's gone. So I know I'm going. <laughs> oh, <laughs> otherwise I didn't have anything else. But I think it was right. a good meeting today. We got a lot on our plate again. So you bet. All right. Do we have a motion to adjourn? I'll we'll make that motion. Yeah. Second. <laughs> all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Meeting adjourned. Perfect. Did you want one of these? Yeah. 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 Yeah.